Because you're too f scared to. Because you don't know when to shut the f up. No one's ever told you. Sometimes you just need to shut the f up. If you've spoken to him about it offline, maybe you should speak about it online instead of okay, online, all right, making all right, a bunch so, of stupid spineless okay, jokes okay, okay, using the same right, kind of meta right. f***ing fake uh, half irony, okay, half joking okay. sh Right. That's that cool. Steven has made popular cool. and so, so always paved the door that even black creators are gonna right. say well I would rather platform a Fantastic. Nazi than be soy it's cool. All right it's you would have let me believe hold up Shh. if you would have let me finish you would have actually known that there's a video on Destiny's channel where me and him speak about our thoughts after the panel and how I said I would never want to speak to him again you're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for miners that's funny I'm in the same cave looking f oh shit diamond f I f it up <laughs> Wait, let wait. me start over. Gideon, shit, hang on, wait. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Because my sexual attraction to miners is major. Can't even play hopscotch without popping a rager. Always been a pervert, so I accept the insults. When I was a kid, I f***ing molested adults. Wait, 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 what the f***? Wait, wait, Hello? Hello, Max. Hello, Steven. How's it going, babe? It's going okay. But oh man, only okay. Oof. Only okay. That's a doozy. <laughs> okay. I know. But as you know, I'm a little upset with you. Uh-oh. I hate to have to police you here. <laughs> yeah. I hate to be soy. Yep, that's good. Well, listen, in the era of the Giga Chad, <laughs> the soy is the true king. Soy is the new Giga Chad. True. Um, you deleted... The main post giving you pushback against your performance and our argument about your uh, treatment of Nick Fuentes. I did. I removed it as spam. You removed it as spam. Yeah, that's the and thing that comes up on the uh, thing. Yeah. Got 700 uh, upvotes. A lot of upvotes. It did. <clears throat> Goddamn, Steven has contradicted himself so many times in his debate with Max and Chud. This is painful. True. Uh, should I read this out loud so we know what we're talking about? Have you shown it on screen? Uh, you can read it if you want. Okay. If you think in the that's debate just go for it. I think it's absolutely necessary. Okay. In the debate just now, when Chud and Max, mostly Max, debated him on the stabilization of Nick, I think he meant sanitization. Mm-hmm. It seems like Steven is just trying to defend himself without being able to be critical of himself at all. This is most most prevalent with how contradictory he is in this debate. In the span of like 10 minutes, he says things like, I never said Nick isn't a Nazi, and well, if you separate every view he has, he is close enough to be called a Nazi. And also says, well, I don't believe someone can decide, can hide his true feelings for half a decade without changing his beliefs. Within the context of him not explicitly saying Nazi shit for a few years, so, he isn't a Nazi anymore. This has been going on all debate. It's almost gaslighting. This is exactly what Max is talking about. That's true. Being all blurry with what you say about Nick's beliefs. Max is 100% correct 100. with his assessment here. 100%. Uh -huh. Literally, every statement said by Max is correct. Every While, single one. Jeez. <clears throat> yes, literally. Okay. While Steven is being so weaselly. Jesus. He literally did the Britney argument fucking hell. Wow. Edit. After reading one of the comments here, I'd like to add that a huge problem is that basically the only times Nick, uh, Steven says Nick is a Nazi is as a joke towards Nick. Steven admits this in the conversation. This is outwardly implying to people that Steven doesn't actually think that Nick is a Nazi, which is the problem with sanitization that Max is talking about. Jeez. That's a lot. Okay. It's got uh, one gold, one helpful, three wholesome, and, um, oh, only only 487 upvotes, not 700. How many comments, though? A lot of comments, probably. Um, 361 comments. Okay. Jeez. Active threats. Very active threat. Big marketplace over there, I would say. Marketplace of ideas. Exactly. And... Um, this combined with you saying you're willing to receive... So I was saying to you, I think part of my concern about this is that you're, I don't think you are that open to push back about this because when I was pushing back against you, mm -hmm. it felt like you were just kind of shooting me down and arguing with me and saying that everything I'm saying is wrong. And I, I didn't feel like you were like, oh, like, yeah, I, I, if I'm going to go into this kind of dangerous territory platforming this like kind of political leader who I think 
you you said, and I believe you, and I agree with you, mm -hmm. might want to commit genocide if he ever comes to power, that you'd be like, oh yeah, I, I, I need I need other eyes on this to like help me make sure that I'm doing the right thing. But that, that's not the sense I got from you. And then when you get pushback from your own community, democratic pushback in a, a system with votes and shit, you delete it. Unbelievable. Do you want me to give you my response? Um. E, uh, the last thing okay. you said, you said, if your fans become Nick's fans, uh -huh. um, you hope that they go and march in the Fourth Reich. If if Nick defeats you in this battle for their souls, um, because you said good ideas beat bad ideas. And the mechanism by which Nick would not beat you um, is by your community talking about it and talking honestly with amongst themselves about what they think of Fuentes. Uh -huh. And when you don't allow them to do that, you are tipping the scales in um, Fuentes' favor. Do you think that last part is true? Do you think I don't allow my community to talk about Fuentes? I think... In this case, I don't think you no. I that's not my last. That's not my point. I'm not saying okay. you never do. Okay. I'm saying this is proof of a time where they were criticizing Fuentes and mm -hmm. criticizing your acceptance, your handling of Fuentes. I know that you'll let them criticize Fuentes, but in this is a case of them criticizing directly you and your handling of Fuentes, and uh -huh. you deleted it. So that's not to, to don't set up a straw man where I'm saying you delete all I criticism. Just, I wasn't saying straw man. I was just clarifying because it made it sound like you were saying I wasn't. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. You're not clarifying. You're confusifying. Okay, that's hold on. Let me. Okay, sorry. Hold on. I'll use stronger language because you're wrong. Okay, so earlier it made okay. it you implied that I wasn't giving my my community the opportunity to talk about Fuentes. That's not true. No, they've made that's not that's not what I implied. I did imply that. Well, no, no. You did, you might not have said that, but that's what you implied. We can play. That's not what I implied. I, okay, hold on. All I implied wanna, is that on, you wait, deleted wait. the thread. You I deleted roll, the thread. Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna roll back and listen to exactly what you said. Hold on. No, no, it's okay. important that we have the words exactly right. Criticizing Fuentes and criticizing your acceptance, your handling of Fuentes. I know that you'll let them criticize Fuentes, but in this is a your acceptance, your or criticizing Fuentes. Says, think you. Okay, hold on one second. Do you think that last part is true? Do you think I don't allow my community to talk about Fuentes? Fuentes' favor. By your community talking about it, the men in this battle for their souls. Um, because you said good ideas beat bad ideas, and the mechanism by which Nick would not beat you um, is by your community talking about it. And talking honestly with amongst themselves about what they think of Fuentes, uh -huh. and when you don't allow them to do that, you are tipping the scales in um, Fuentes's favor. Okay, you made it sound like when you said, when you don't allow your community to talk about Fuentes, you are tipping yes. the scale. Absolutely. In his favor. When okay. yes, when you don't allow them to talk about this. Okay. At the times that you do that, not saying that is always. Okay. Happened, not saying that I'm it's saying always, in, but in the times that it in, happens. Okay, that's fair. Okay. In the that's instances fair. that that happens. Okay. And this is a pretty big instance because this was after a big discussion about it. Mm -hmm. After after a big uh, argument, everybody goes to the subreddit who's interested to see what the community has to say about it. The highest upvoted comment about that conversation or mm -hmm. high, highest upvoted thread with the most comments was saying that I was right and that the way you are acting about this does provide cover for him. And then you deleted it. And when you deleted it in that moment, in the instance, in the point two milliseconds that you were clicking that mouse button, you were providing a fucking shitload of cover for Fuentes. Okay. The way that I generally run my community is, I'm pretty open to criticism and feedback for most things, but when people make it weirdly personal, I generally always delete those threads. If somebody has something good to say or something critical to say, generally okay with that. But when a thread is called like, God damn, Destiny is being so contradictory and he's being Weasley. Usually for those, I just delete it. But there's plenty of okay. people in my sub that push back and give lots of criticism. They do it, they don't get banned, it's fine. But more often than not, it's usually people typing shit like, I just think that he's being Weasley and he's not even trying to engage a good fan. It's like, there's no like good criticism here. This is trash. And I usually just wipe those threads or, del or ban okay. the people. After, after me reading that back to you, mm -hmm. do you think there is no good criticism in that thread? Uh, there might be, but he could have written it a lot better. Okay. Do you concede, or here, I think this, you let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. The more 
um, horrifying people find you or your conduct or your ideas, the more emotionally they're going to react to it. Possibly, and, but I don't have to tolerate while, that emotional reaction. You do if you want pushback, because while you and I may be able to keep the uh, rhetorical cool and talk to somebody who wants to kill us or thinks that we are crazy or wants to kill us, whatever, or do whatever horrible thing, we mm -hmm. can keep our cool and say, okay, I'm going to engage with your ideas. I'm not going to freak out. Most people, when they get really upset by something that they see happening, especially if they have like a parasocial relationship with you, or if they're a fan of yours, or they're invested in your work, they're going to get upset at the same time. And while I'm not saying that you should, you know, tolerate people um, threatening you or harassing you, or even maybe being extremely insulting, I, I tolerate that in my community, but you don't have to. I certainly think that saying you are being weaselly in a conversation, while that does have negative connotations, it is also a descriptor of your behavior in the debate. And I, I don't, I just think deleting the whole thing and justifying it as the, saying that that's an ad hom and that if you tolerate that, you'd have to tolerate any amount of abuse from your community just shows that you are emotionally compromised on this. Like you're not up for hearing real pushback that would actually really matter and, and change the narrative here. And by deleting it, you are tipping the scales. I disagree. Uh, God damn, Steven has contradicted himself. This is painful. It seems like he's trying to defend himself without being critical at all. Um, it's almost gaslighting. Uh, he literally did you, the Britney argument. Saying? Fucking hell. These aren't, this isn't like a, this isn't good criticism. This is like, this is like emotional bait. If he thinks you're gaslighting me, what does he want? If, what does he, want? if he thinks I'm gaslighting me, then I don't ever want him in my community posting. If you're going to use the term gaslighting to describe a fucking internet debate while being that emotional a post, then go post somewhere else. I don't want you posting my subreddit. That's exactly okay, why so, I banned so those types a new of people. Rule, there's uh -huh. a new rule, new rule in your subreddit that no one is allowed to tell you that you're gaslighting. It's not a new rule in my subreddit. When people make It's posts, an old rule. Yeah, if you make a post, that's why there's a comment like 200 upvotes where the guy's like, oh, seven. <laughs> When you, um, if you, if you're making a post and you're like, Destiny is a bad faith gaslighter where he's weaseling all, it's like, bro, you're not engaging critically with any of the material at all. And the only thing like posts like that invite are other people to be like, yeah, Destiny's a fucking asshole, piece of shit. And it's like, bro, there's no like, there's no engagement here. There's not a good engagement with anything that's actually being said. Okay. In a span of 10 minutes, he says things like, I never said Nick isn't a Nazi. And well, he is close enough to be called a Nazi. And... I believe someone who can. I believe someone can hide his true feelings for, or I don't believe someone can hide his true feelings for half a decade without changing his beliefs. They are, and then they describe that series of statements all being made in ten minutes as gaslighting. Yeah, but they remove the context from every single statement. Well, that's fine. Like you can push back against it. No, no, but no, like, no. That's not that, fine. If that's his engagement, the idea is, I just don't want something like this ever posted in my community. It's just a dumb fuck. And then, and then on the sandwich but, but it's of got this, five hundred upvotes of people who don't. I don't think care. That There's a dumb. lot of dumb fucks in my subreddit. I don't care. If somebody wants to make like a good reason post, I don't know if somebody did or not. But there are like plenty of people that make good reason posts. Like I think Destiny's super wrong here. I disagree with this or that, and they make them and they're fine. But like for something that is like this emotionally charged, that's just like stupid. Like the LP is just a dumb fucking post. Like at best, it's a surface level engagement. And then at worst, comments like, he literally did the Britney argument here. Fucking hell. Like, the fuck? Like, I, what, what, this doesn't even, like. Do you know what he means? I don't care what he means. That Just the fact that he would type that shows that he's, like, not on the level to, like, critically engage with the subject matter. In my opinion. But if a post is approving of you and congratulating you, but doesn't but written by a dumb fuck in your estimation do you delete that uh it depends on what the post is if it's something congratulating me but if it's like shitting on somebody else really relentlessly yeah i usually ban those people no from. no not shitting on anybody else just saying that you won the argument and you were right but they take they don't really provide a well-reasoned thought out perfectly well-written argument as to why they're a little sloppy they just say yeah man if, they, if somebody had said man mr girl was gaslighting that whole conversation steven was totally right he he killed it he nailed every point 100%. I can't really explain why, but I just know that he was right. You would have deleted that? Um, if they're probably not usually. If there's like posts was like, wow, that was a good conversation or whatever, then I probably wouldn't delete it, no. Okay, so the the rule is not against being inarticulate or being dumb. The rule is I never against, said I had a rule against inarticulation or being okay, dumb. Okay, whatever. You're, you're, the rule is that if you're going your to provide... Your justification okay, me, of that me, he is not on, properly engaging with the material is not real. He, you deleted it because he fucking disagreed with you. That's... 
Why are there, go read my subreddit right now. And how many posts can you find up that are disagreeing with me? Over the past like two days, I, there's I like 7,000 yes. posts. Okay, so I don't well, oh, think, wait, 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 wait. Think... no, 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 no. So one, you're wrong. I don't just delete okay. stuff because they disagree with me. Okay, okay so it's two, a, it's a way there's to tons of people. You. Yes, when it comes okay. to criticism, if you're going to be yes. critical of something, criticism implies critical engagement. If somebody wants to make a post like, oh, wow, like I think that argument is cool, blah, 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 then fine, whatever, go off. But if you want to be critical, if you want to like levy criticism, then fine. But like you have to do it in a way that like shows a like, critical engagement with the subject matter. Um, okay, so what, you have more? No, that's it. If somebody wants, there's plenty of people that are critical of me on my subreddit. You can I, argue. I agree. You can I'm not, argue. Again, I'm no, not no, saying no. you. I'm not saying that you never allow criticism of you. I'm okay, not saying. Sorry, that. that was the implication. When you say that you deleted something because it pushed back against you, the implication is that you delete all criticism. That's no, generally. No, I don't think you do, do delete all criticism. Okay, that's I don't fine. Think I'm that just saying that's a what the implication. Strategy anyway. It would be a workable strategy. Goal, there's you, plenty of official subs no, where people clear. People, there's plenty of official subs where people clear all criticism of themselves. Yeah, but your brand is that you are open to feedback. Your brand is that you'll, you'll hear anything and good ideas win. And so therefore we have to hear all ideas. We have to have a marketplace of ideas. We have to have pushback. So you can't delete criticism of you. Some creators can do that. Okay, but I deleted this criticism. Yes, you did. You did. And I typically and, will and, delete most criticisms where the post is like super, like lots of random personal attacks and bad yeah, critical engagement but, with the subject matter. But what if, but you're most, the, the, your justification for deleting it doesn't make any sense. Uh, it does. You just don't like it. So to you, you're saying it doesn't make sense. Okay. So here's your stance. Yeah. If I understand it. Go ahead. People can people can criticize you and your subreddit, and they can disagree with you. Yeah. But if they're going to disagree with you, mm -hmm. they have to meet your standard of civility and saying that you are being weaselly in a debate or that you are gaslighting in a debate is too uncivil for you. Okay. You are not and phrasing that post charitably. If it was a well thought out, well reasoned post and it included like, I think he was being weaselly, the post would stand. If the post has almost zero critical engagement with the debate, starts out with a goddamn, this is painful says, I'm not being critical of myself at all, says that I'm acting, I'm doing a Britney argument and that I'm gaslighting. That's not a post that's worth like even having on my sub. There's no good critical engagement there with what's going on at all. I agree with the post though. I agree with everything. That's fine. That and there's sometimes the people post. can post. You did do the Britney in... argument. I'm <laughs> okay. You did, you did. You said, I'm just a wee little YouTuber who I don't have responsibility. Who cares what I think? I'm just a little drop in the drop in the ocean. Okay. That is the Britney. That's the Britney Hold defense. Hold on. You, you either miss the entire conversation or you are so unimaginably uncharitable that interpretation. What I said was, I do not have the power to reclaim the meanings of words. I can't do that. Nobody on YouTube can do that. PewDiePie could not take back the meanings of words. Words like Nazi or racist or rapist or fascist or communist, those words don't mean anything anymore. That's what I said. And when you said, well, can't you make it so that those words do, or can't you? And I said, no, I'm powerless for that. That's gone. That is not the same as saying I have no responsibility. I've never said that is. before. I think it absolutely is. I think the way these words are used in your community mm -hmm. are basically defined by you and the handful of people you talk to. Okay. I, I don't talk to just my community, so I totally disagree. I'm not saying you do talk to just your okay, community. Okay, well, if I'm I can saying, control things I'm in my community, I can't control when I associate with other communities how they take things. So why would I use I, a word in my community, make it a regular word in my community that means something different outside every other community? Why would I even do that? It's a fruitless endeavor. I don't think it is. Uh, how, explain how. I think the word Nazi is an important word, and we need it. We need it to be able to identify Nazis. Okay. I you, think well, that if you, that, say to your, if you say to your viewers, your core base, when I use the word Nazi, here is what I mean. And you, you, you bring up a text definition on screen. You say, this is the definition of the word Nazi. It's a fascist who believes in racial hierarchy, something like that. And you put it up every time you say it, then anytime anybody in your sub says the word Nazi incorrectly, you're gonna have a hundred people jumping down the throne saying, no, that's not how we use that word here. You could absolutely do that. 
why would I waste my time? So you, the first thing you said was because it's important. Need, it's not important. It's super on. It's probably one okay, of the that's least. Okay, but that's a different. Come on, well, let me finish. That, Hold on. I'm respond. I wrote down your thing, argument. so now I'm responding okay. to you. Said we need okay. Nazi to identify Nazis. That is yeah. wrong. Deductively, okay. it is not true. We How need so? Nazi, which is a classification of stuff that implies a whole bunch of different sub. Uh, sub qualifiers or whatever, right? You can identify somebody as such by focusing on those subcategories. You don't need the word Nazi to identify a Nazi. You can identify all the bad things about a person without having to use that word. So number one, that's wrong. Number two, Wait, when, I don't when you're saying, I I, let me, I, if you want to go point by point, we can, but you need to make a much okay. shorter response to me so that I can make a much shorter response to you. If you're okay. going to ramble okay, for five minutes, I'm going to ramble for five minutes, okay? So okay. one, okay. we don't need Nazi to identify Nazi, okay? Two, oftentimes when the word Nazi is used, you're actually muddying the waters. You're giving cover to Nazis. The last big panel I did with Vosh was fighting against him calling Bush and Antonin Scalia Nazis. Or it might have been mm -hmm. fascist, actually. Um, so these, so even using these words, when I, as soon as I use a word like this, what I have to do is I've got to define it immediately, which means I've already lost the power of the word and I'm engaging in more work than I need to. Why wouldn't so I just attack? You, well, I'm going to finish talking. If you're going to do okay. a thing, if you want to go granular, we can. But you're going to wait for me to finish. Okay? okay, that's fine, okay. right? So I don't agree that we need not to identify Nazis. I think that using the word just muddies the waters on everything. And then when you're saying, well, when I'm in my community, when you say Nazi, this is what I mean. I already do that. When I'm talking to just my community, or talking to somebody, there are times where I'll say, I think this person is a fascist. And when I mean fascist, I mean he's actually like an authoritarian, ultra-nationalist populist figure. I will go out and define it. But even me having to do that shows the futility of the word. Because the only reason I would call somebody a fascist and then go on to define fascist is because I'm trying to bring in something from the word fascist that isn't implied by the definition, which is some amount of moral normativity. I'm saying they're fascist, meaning I'm saying they're bad, because why would I call somebody something and then tell you what the definition of that word is instead of just telling you the definition outright? That's why I think all of these word games are fucked. Okay, now go. Now, if you want to go like a point by point, we can do it. But if you talk now for five minutes, I'm going to give you another five minute response. Just letting you know. Okay. okay. Uh, well, we have two topics on the table now. Sure. One is, do we need the word Nazi? Okay. And two is, do you have a large amount of control over how your community uses words? The, the Brittany argument that he was referring to is you claiming that you don't, and you just claimed that you don't again. When I pushed you on it, you said, okay, maybe I do, but who cares? So are we talking about whether or not you have control over how your community thinks of a word, which I think you obviously do, but we can argue that if you really want to keep saying you don't, or are we going to argue about whether you should? We can do either do you, I mean, one. Do you, I've written them both down, whichever one you want, whatever path you want to go down. Okay. When you said, well, who cares or why would I waste my time doing that? Mm -hmm. Do you, do you, it, to me, it sounds like you're conceding that you could. Do you agree with that? I could make the effort. I don't know if I could effect the outcome. What do you think? I don't think I can. Okay, so you don't think that if you told your community, when I use the word Nazi, I want you to understand this is what I mean. And when you use the word Nazi, I'm going to expect that this is what you mean. You don't think that that would change how people use the word in your subreddit? No, I already, I already do that on my stream. Like, I already... Yeah, uh, like there, it happens when we talk philosophy sometimes. Like every single time I bring up begging the question, I explain what it means. This is what it means to beg mm -hmm. the question. It's not raising a question. It refers to. So why do you do that? If it's futile, why do you do that? <clears throat> because for some words, if it's a philosophy debate, and depending on who I'm talking to, it's nice to be more exact with the words you're using. But okay, generally, I'm not. But like when I go off into the world, um, if I'm like in a debate with somebody, like on a stage or whatever, I'm probably not going to say like begging the question. I'm probably going to say your argument is circular because begging the sure. question just means raises the question. And there's even if I even if in my own community I fight really hard for a particular term I've already, I've lost control because my community doesn't only watch me and people that I argue with don't watch me so I kind of have to just engage with them at where they're at and language is so out of my control for most people. But in your community, I th I, I guess you're just saying that you just don't agree with this. Maybe we're gonna just hit a dead end. I think that if you say, hey, the word Nazi is really important because when you do something like call Bush a Nazi, here's why you shouldn't do that. I mean, I would even argue that you're already doing this. When you argue against the concept of calling Bush a Nazi, aren't you refining the definition of the word Nazi for your audience? Um, I'm just fighting back against them calling him a Nazi because whatever moral weight or definition they're trying to bring in, there's no shot that Bush or uh, Scalia is a Nazi or fascist. If the word, okay, then if the word doesn't mean anything, then why did you just use it? 
I didn't say that the word doesn't mean anything. I said, or let me be more precise. You said it's precise. lost all Hold meaning on. and that's ruined. Uh, yeah. When I say that, I'm incorrect. When I, It is ruined, but it hasn't lost all meaning. That's an okay, incorrect so phrasing by that. You let are me be more in, when you Hold say on. Scalia let isn't let be, a Nazi, me, no, you're no, defining no, Nazi by let saying me, that, right? Let me be more precise. I'm not saying that the word has no meaning, and but that doesn't mean that the word isn't ruined. The problem is that the word has tons of different meanings, but the meaning of that word is usually something that coincides with a feeling that the word user wants to convey about the subject that they're talking about. That's the problem. Okay. So I shouldn't but, say the word has no meaning because it clearly has some meaning, but typically the meaning of that word is that it's conveying a feeling about the speaker okay. towards a subject. That's my issue with if the you're, word. Okay. If you're saying that's a problem with yes. the way it's usually used, mm -hmm. are you not right now arguing against that definition and by implication for another definition? I'm arguing against that definition. I would argue in favor of an actual definition, but like when I'm engaging in conversations with people, the, I can't do the world as I want it to be. I have to get people where they are. I've got to treat people as they are. I've got to come at where people... Well, yeah, but you're in a conversation with me. So right now, it sounds like you're using our agreed upon definition of the word Nazi. I also agree that Scalia is not a Nazi. Sure. I think when you and I are talking, if you were to come on and you're like, I want to have a conversation whether or not I think a person is a Nazi, I'd probably use it in a pretty formal man manner with you because we seem to have an agreed upon exact definition of the word. Sure. Okay. So do, don't you think that through hours or years of watching you, that your fans are very likely, if somebody says Bush is a Nazi, to say, that's not true. That's not what a Nazi is. And that the reason they'd be saying that is because they heard you say it. They heard you give a compelling argument for why it doesn't really make sense to call Bush a Nazi. It weakens a, a useful definition of the word and it's just turned into a, a playground insult. Yeah, I do, I do that when I hear people use these terms incorrectly. Okay, so in the process of doing that, you are doing the thing that you're saying you're not able to do. You are changing the way that your audience uses the word. My problem with this is you seem to have very specific, strong convictions about what that word means and how it is used, except when it comes to Nick Fuentes. Then all of a sudden, it's fucking slipping through your fingers and you're, you're hiding behind other people's misuse of the word to avoid having to just say, flat out, straight up, Nick Fuentes is a Nazi. Okay, so when you say you are changing the way your audience uses the word, that is true. When I hear people use words and I don't think they're being used correctly, I'll typically fight back against the incorrect usages of those words. That's not the same thing, though, as insisting that I use those words in conversations in a way that I think is the correct way to force other people to do it. Those two things are not the same. For instance, if I'm in an argument with somebody and I hear them say feminism or toxic masculinity, and I hear them use it incorrectly, I'll almost certainly call them out. I'll say, well, hold on. Toxic masculinity doesn't mean this. I'll say that and I'll correct that when I hear it used incorrectly. But that doesn't mean that I'll go forward into arguments with other people and utter those terms and hope that they've got my meaning or that everybody's gonna be on the same page with me. I'll call people out when they're doing it incorrectly, but I'm not gonna force my usage of it correctly onto other people because it's just gonna lead, this is like a lesson that I learned years ago. It just leads to qu like quibbling and arguing over what the definitions of words or terms are. Sure, but you have to have a definition for yourself in order to say things like Bush isn't a Nazi. I don't think, I don't think, I, to, to, so when you, you, if, you can if say Bush to, isn't, a, you know who isn't a Nazi, Bush isn't a Nazi, we know mm -hmm. Hitler is a Nazi, but if I say to you, is Nick Fuentes a Nazi, I don't get a clear answer, and that's my whole problem. The, the, it, I have no problem with you saying that Nick is probably a Nazi. I don't have a problem with that. The, the issue is, is Nick Fuentes a Nazi? I, it depends on how specific you want to, what, what is the definition you want to run with for Nazi? Tell me, exactly. Is, is Bush a Nazi? Bush is absolute, I don't know any definition of Nazi where Bush qualifies as a Nazi. Okay, is Hitler a Nazi? Hitler was quite literally the leader of the National Socialist Party of Germany, it was called the Nazi Party, and he seems to embody the ideals of the Nazi Party, so I'd say probably, yeah. Okay, in your definition, you can use whatever definition you want inside that fortune cookie you've got there, your dictionary. Uh-huh. Is Nick Fuentes a Nazi? It is possible that in Nick's idealized or private version of his world, that he is indeed a Nazi. That is possible. In terms of the positions that he advocates for, I wouldn't say so. But he could be internally. That might be something even that he jokes about or, or inches towards, but it's not the movement, it's not the things that he advocates for. Um, what do you think? Or do you not have an opinion? What do I think what? Do you think he's a Nazi? I, it's, 
trying to divine like where somebody's mind is is a game that I find futile. Why, what is the advantage of me doing that? If I'm right, I gain nothing. And if I'm wrong, I lose everything and I look like an idiot. Why wouldn't I just attack him or engage him with his prescriptions or his jokes? Those are the areas that I would go to fight. Why would I try to box with shadows when I'm trying to figure out what he might be in his head and then run the risk of either being totally wrong or run the risk of being correct and then what's the next step? To fight on his positions. Because if somebody operates in shadows, you have to box with shadows in order to push back. That's why. Well, that's and you, um, and you also gain a lot if you're right. You don't. I don't gain anything. He's never going to expose him. It's not like I'm going to be like, well, Nick, like, don't you think this? And, and then all of a sudden he's like, I do want to kill all the Jews. Oh shit, you got me. Like that's never going to happen. Well, if there's a train who's going to hit five people, and I flip a switch and it doesn't hit them, and nobody ever knows I did it, did I gain anything? <laughs> I don't know how that's relevant here. Well, what if you? prevent um, bad things from happening by calling him a Nazi and being right. Now, calling him a Nazi and being wrong, I agree that would be wrong. But if you think he's a Nazi, then, uh, if you, I mean, if you believe he's a Nazi, then you gain a lot from saying what you believe. Like, why? I, I just don't understand. If you're you're I willing think, to, okay, if I think you're he's willing a to Nazi. take such strong stances and make such strong statements about so many people. But when it comes to Nick Fuentes... Wait, who, what do you mean by that? Or what do you, what do you, I'm, I'll make strong statements related to, to Fuentes. I just don't like using broad labels generally because they're so misunderstood. Like even in debates when somebody's like, what are you? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm kind of like a leftist. I'm kind of like a sock dem. I'm kind of like a center left. Like no matter what label I say, I'm going to have to go in to describe like, well, I might be, I'm a sock dem, but I'm not like a crazy progressive, but I am pretty progressive, but I'm not like for the, like, like the labels spend, you've spent so much time arguing about what the labels even mean. Like, I would rather just attack him on, on the positions. And if he cowers from the positions, if he is a Nazi, the goal is to get him to admit that he's a Nazi through, like, argumentation or deduction, right? Like, the question, like, would you rather date, um, you know, a Somali woman that is, like, perfectly Christian, Catholic, wants to do blah, 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 or would you rather date, you know, a white person that's, like, a weird LGBT person from San Francisco with blue hair, you know? Forcing Nick to answer questions like that is more revealing of his true positions than just being like, I think you're a Nazi, Nick. It's like, okay, well, where the fuck do we go with that? I don't think you have to say it like that. I don't think you have to yell at him. I'm just asking you straight up, do you think Nick Fuentes is a Nazi? I guess your answer is that you don't know? His, po his policy positions and the movement he leads is not an expressly Nazi movement. There I know that. That's, so I, that's, I don't that's, know. That's, in terms of what that's he, why I'm asking you what you think of it. Obviously, I know that. That's the point. That's why we're having the conversation. If it was, there'd be nothing to talk about. I, I, don't try to I don't try to divine. I don't try to figure out through whatever, like with the inner workings of a person's mind like that. It's just not something I usually bother with. If I do, I'm mistaken when I do it. But like, I usually just try to engage with the ideas that people say. And then when we argue, I'll, you know, push them around and see, you know, what breaks or, you know, where they're strong at. And then I kind of figure out from there. Do you agree that in modern times, Nazis operate through confusion, semi-ironic humor and plausible deniability? Potentially. But I actually bit this argument from you. I think that political correctness ends up being the opposite side of a dog whistle, where people get so scared about seeing dog whistles and everything everywhere that everything becomes overly politically correct in an attempt to avoid the dog whistle. So rather than like playing agree, games, so rather than playing games in that world, where I'm trying to figure out is he dog whistling, is he a Nazi, is he whatever, like I would rather just like okay, I'm gonna meet him where he's at, and he can either own these policy positions, or he can own these moral prescriptions, or he can back off of them and reveal his true colors. You know, where he's a Nazi, if that's if that's the I case. I think Nick is doing to you what you're doing to me right now. What is that? Hey, what's up, Jadian? What's um? What is he doing? Hey, Jadian. What's up, bro? What's your name? Mr. Girl or Max? What's up, Max? How you doing, bro? I'm I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, what you're doing to me is you are creating confusion around. The definition of words or what we're even talking about everything is spiraling off into different sides and at the end of the conversation nobody knows what you really think about Fuentes or Nazism or what a Nazi is and and like you you've created a bunch of um, tangentially related micro arguments that you can win you set up and you win them really quickly and so like if you look at the scoreboard I'm losing by a lot because you've won like 900 arguments but there's only one or two that I'm trying to have with you. One is, do we need the word Nazi? 
And two is, um, do you have the power to define that word for your audience? And I, and I don't think you've really answered either of those questions. But, but and, and so like, so you won 900 arguments, but the two that we're having, you've evaded. And I think Nick is doing the same thing to you. He becomes, yeah, by shadows. That's the whole point. Because he's not like welcome in the daylight. I wish he were. I wish that YouTube would let a Nazi come on and say, I'm a Nazi and I want to kill all the Jews. And then we would know. We wouldn't have to just say, well, based on everything you've said, I have this big chart of every data point of everything you've ever said. And I've determined that statistically speaking, it's it's an impossibility that you're not a Nazi. You okay. have to be a Nazi given what you've said. So here's why I disagree. You say that I'm creating confusion around the definition of words and what we're talking about. I disagree. I wish I could go back to the conversation. I think it was, I think it was, it might've been a lot of people here. I think it was like Fuentes, Abba, Jidian, I think Don, um, Sneeko, and a couple other people were in that room. And I think at some point, people were literally asking like, oh my God, like, aren't you a Nazi or whatever? And Nick is very easily able to weasel around that word because who the fuck even knows what Nazi means? And he did it pretty effectively. And I think it wasn't until I stepped in and I started asking specific questions. Like, do you think white people and black people having children is degenerate. Once specific questions like that start coming out, it's a lot harder for him to get away from that than for me going, aren't you a Nazi who believes in racial hierarchical structures? Well, you know, I mean, is there a racial hierarchy? I don't know if I'd say that. Like white people are different than black people who are different than Asian people and they should blah, 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 blah. Like using this word Nazi. But that's what well, you're wait, I gotta hold on, wait, wait. Remember anytime that's what you, you're wait, doing wait, 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 no, no. Anytime you ramble, I'm gonna ramble. So I just wrote down everything you said, so I'm responding to everything you said, okay? I'm not the one creating the confusion. I think I'm the one that's looking for clarity by having real conversations about the real ideas and the real policy positions, not hanging on to a word and trying to bring it in and like make everything fit, like is he a Nazi or, I don't care about that. I don't want somebody to dislike somebody because they're a Nazi. I don't care how they feel this about somebody about with the- dislike <laughs> him, <laughs> Let bro. me finish. Okay, if somebody doesn't like somebody or if somebody doesn't like their policies or thinks they're evil, I want it to be because they know specifically where that person stands on certain moral or political issues, right? That guy's a Nazi. Okay, I don't know anything about that. That guy's opposed to uh, misogyny. He doesn't think that interracial marriages should happen and he thinks gay people should be killed. Okay, those are strong positions that I don't think I would like that person. I prefer the latter to the former because in this media environment, when somebody says Nazi, that word means fucking nothing, okay? When you you say okay. this hold on i've got it if you want to go granular we can go but when you ramble a lot i'm gonna ramble this isn't okay? granular you're no. just i know we're you're not gaslight granular. you're no. gaslighting me you're gaslighting I'm, me. you can look at my stream i literally wrote down everything you said and i'm responding point by point <laughs> you have a so list I'm of gonna, things to not respond to no i'm writing down everything you're saying if you want right. to talk okay. a lot i have to okay so you said nobody really knows what you think Everybody knows exactly what I think. They might not know, I guess, like my precise definition of the word Nazi, but they know where I stand on all the moral issues. They know where I stand on the policy issues. And when I argue with somebody, they know where they stand on the moral issues and policy issues. And that's more important than whether or not we all agree on what the word Nazi or fascist means and if we've applied the label correctly, because who the fuck cares? And then when you say you're creating- I care, obviously you say, I care. You say when you're creating confusion around the definition of words and what we're talking about, wrong. Bringing in those words, I think is what creates the confusion. I think that I'm providing clarity by focusing on the actual subject matter and not focusing or trying to use the words. When you say, nobody really knows what you think, or I'm just creating micro arguments, everybody knows what I think. They might just not know how I apply a really broad word like fascist or communist or whatever, but they know very precisely or specifically where I stand on a given issue that we're talking about. When you say, you do are. we need the word Nazi? I wish we had words like that that were highly descriptive, but all of them have been destroyed. And I've said it a million times, Nazi, pedophile, racist, rapist, uh, transphobic. We I don't know what any of these words. absolutely need these words. We, but they're gone now. They're already gone. We've lost they're them. Not, no, they're when you not said, gone. When you and said, you use do, them on, frequently. When you said, do you have the power to define that word to your audience? I kind of do, but when I use them, I have to define them every time. And it's frustrating, yes, but I do, do it. I do that. I'll say like, man, yeah. this guy's like transphobic. And when I say transphobic, I mean, he like actually wants to get rid of like HRT. I've got to define it every time, which shows that the words are destroyed. Um, and then when you say he becomes shadows, he's not welcome in the daylight. The way that he remains a shadow is by trying to use the word Nazi instead of bringing him out and exposing his particular position. Okay, if you want to go point by point, we can, but I'm writing down as you speak, and if you speak know, a lot, every, I will respond a lot. Okay, go ahead. But you are, you, I think you're literally gaslighting me. How These you, are not the points I'm making. You're not responding to the points I'm making. You're setting up straw man after straw man. I'm writing down your exact I didn't words. Say. No, you're responding to things like, oh, I don't think we should not like somebody because of a label. I didn't fucking say that. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking okay, about, obviously. You, then you said, you, then you also said, I think 
I think it's more important to engage with his positions than it is to call him a Nazi. I didn't say it wasn't. I'm not saying one is more important than the other, and they're not mutually exclusive. Another fucking false dichotomy that you smuggled in in your response as though that's what I said. I didn't say any of the shit you're responding to. My message is very clear, and I'm going to have to end up repeating myself over and over okay, wait, until me, you either make it clear you're just not going to respond Just give or me the specific. Okay, hold on. Don't, give me the specific question. I will write it down word for word, and I will respond to it. Give me the specific question. What is your specific point that you think I'm evading or avoiding? Two things. One is that I think we need the word Nazi, and given that you use it and protest about the way it is used, I think you also think we need to use the word. The only time I'm hearing you, you're, you're telling story after story of yourself using the word, arguing against other people using the word, and arguing over the definition of the word. So it seems like usually you're in agreement with me about the fact that this word should be used explicitly to describe people who fit your and my definition of Nazi, which I believe is pretty similar. So, okay. except when it comes okay. to Nick Fuentes, you say, who cares? I don't care about that word. I don't care about calling people a Nazi. Well, then why can't I call Bush a Nazi? If you don't care about who's a Nazi and who isn't, then why can't I call Bush? Then when I ask you, is Nick Fuentes a Nazi? You say 500 words in response. It's a yes, no, or I don't know, or I don't know yet. But you have interrogated him about his policy positions for weeks or months or years, you have your own definition of Nazi. So why can't you make a determination? Like, isn't it kind of weird that you don't know if he's a Nazi at this point? I already gave you an answer to that. But when you ask me, is he a Nazi? That's a very yeah. simple sentence. Do you understand yes. that there's a lot of, okay, well the actual, the actual answer definitionally to your question is a resounding no. Okay. If you want to play hardcore, he's not a national socialist. So the answer is no. No, no. no. By your definite. No, By, you okay, well, now actual, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When you say the actual definition, are you now smuggling in a new definition that you can hide behind instead of yours? Well, no. I, if you want to be, if you, if you want to be, your definition no, no. in if, your definition of Nazi is Nick Fuentes. If a Nazi. you hold on, stop. If you want to be ultra fucking one hundred percent, we get out with the dictionary. Does he belong to the National Socialist Party of Germany? No. Do you want to ask me if he's a neo-Nazi or if he belongs to a neo-Nazi party? What I'm trying to make you understand is that you you feel like your questions are simple and demand simple answers, but they're not. Yes. At, the words are everything in these statements is incredibly complicated and loaded. There's two sides of this question. One is, what do you think Nick Fuentes believes? And the other is, what do you think is a Nazi? And I'm asking you if the two things line up. Um, That's I, it. I just, and, it, and it's a I, mystery the, what Nick Fuentes truly that, believes because he won't say what he truly believes. I don't care. He's dodgy he, and evasive. It doesn't matter right? if he says what he truly believes. I can fight him on what he says. And those are the things that we'll fight about. You can't That's live. Not, you are changing the frame of what I'm asking you. There are two sides to this question. I don't what care about Fuentes? the second side. That's the point. I don't care That's about what a Nazi is. That's fine if you don't care is. about it, but let me, fi let me finish. There's okay. two sides to the question. What is Nick Fuentes? What is Nazi? And should we put an equal, side between, equal sign between them? I, when I ask you about the Nick Fuentes side, you say, who cares what he is? So you evade that question. You say, I don't know. Even after hours of talking with him or, or weeks of talking with him, I don't know. I don't know what his true stance is, and it doesn't matter. I don't want to know. Okay, well, you don't want to know, you don't know. Those are all the same. Basically, it's a big question mark, a big cloud of confusion from you. You don't know what Nick Fuentes' positions are. No, stop saying talked. that. You're lying. I know what Fuentes' positions are. You probably okay, don't know what his positions are because okay, you're so, so obsessed with the word Nazi. You just want okay. me to try to see if I can get some positions. If you know what his positions are, then why are you talking about trying to divine his inner being? Because you're... Because you're the one that's telling me that his positions might not be congruent with what's in his head. You're the one do you that's think telling that's, me- Do you think that's an accurate assessment that it, his positions are likely not congruent with what's in his head? It might be, it might not, but it's not my job to figure that out. That's not what I'm trying to do unless it's painfully I'm not saying obvious. it is your job. That is your job if I'm asking you this question and you're attempting to answer it though. I don't- I, Again, there's two sides to the equal- no, you're, you're just changing the subject. There's two sides to the equal sign. One is, what is Nick Fuentes? And we can say, what are his policies or who is he underneath? Obviously, since I'm calling him a liar and a sneaky manipulator. Obviously, I'm referring to what what is he underneath. I, I, can, what is I mean, I can tell you that there's wait, wait, like... Let me finish. Oh let me finish. God. I'm saying, what is he going to do if he gets power? And so to assess that, I said, do you think he would commit genocide if he were the dictator? And you said, yeah, Maybe I think he there's... Could. I think there's a chance. You, you, said, I th you said, I think there's a much greater chance of him doing that than the average person. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So... Again, but these are inductions that I don't gain anything I, by engaging in this level I'm not of asking, induction. I'm not talking about what you gain from it. This is a moral imperative that it's I'm not, saying you on, have. It's not a moral I'm saying imperative. I, We're talking I, about language this is, here. Obviously, my claim is that you have a moral imperative 
to answer these questions and to know the answers to these questions for yourself and to make them clear publicly. And you have a moral imperative to take pushback from your audience when you are risking um, get transferring wealth and power to a literal Nazi. When you are taking that risk, I believe you have a moral imperative to get over your fucking feelings being hurt by somebody calling you weaselly in an argument and not delete a towering uh, like criticism of, of you from your community with 500 fucking upvotes. I think you have a moral imperative to not do that. So I'm not saying you're going to gain anything from following my advice. In fact, I can almost guarantee you that your personal gain will be best served by you befriending Nazis and platforming them. It makes, unless, as long as you don't get banned, it makes you sexy and makes you dangerous. It gives you access to a whole group of people who secretly have Nazi beliefs and are going to feel warm and want to, you know, join your community for that. It's going it, it will, it will, it will broaden your horizons in a way that cozying up to the left never could. Yo, Mr. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Girl, can I ask you a question? Yeah. So, um, like, you know, obviously I just got in here, but from what I gathered, is your stance on, like, I'm guessing you don't believe in that ideology, right? The Nazi ideology? Yeah. I don't I don't agree with Nazis, no. Oh, okay. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you agree with, like, Nick Flintes and stuff? No. Okay. So, since you don't agree with that, is your thing is, like, you're trying to say, okay, yeah, these people are bad, but they shouldn't be deplatformed because we need to be able to point them out? Um, I believe that there is a problem with the way social media companies boost ideas that get strong emotional reactions from people. So I'm the way they work now, I think it's um, dangerous to have him on YouTube. But the solution to that is for YouTube to not boost. I, they just have to change their algorithms. But I don't think deplatforming is the solution. So I'm not, I don't I don't want to see Nick Fuentes erased from the Internet. I think he should be allowed to have a YouTube channel. Um, okay. Even though I strongly disagree with his ideas. So, okay, so you're strongly against deplatforming. Yeah. I would say, like, me too. Like, you know, I'm against deplatforming because, like, me being a black man, I would much rather have someone um, be outwardly racist to me than, um, I thought, like, the coin liberal racism, where it's, like, you know, uh, semantics. And like, you know, generally they use the things of like gentrification mm -hmm. and, you know, hiding behind like big words or big mm -hmm. phrases. Me personally, like I would rather someone's like, yeah, that dude's just straight up racist, you know, like he has his channel over there. Everybody that's subscribed to that channel or listens to him, they're pretty much a racist. It's like, oh, OK, so now I know to stay away from them. Where I, I, I agreed. Yeah. And I think that because we're so intolerant of that, it forces people like Nick Fuentes, who I believe is a Nazi to hide his beliefs and create confusion around who he is and what he wants to do. And because, yeah. this, because this has happened, and it seems like Fuentes is a Nazi who is trying to create confusion around who he is, I, I have some criticisms for Destiny, Steven here, um, having chicken and waffles with him and making him seem like a quirky, dorky, Christian, um, awkward around women, innocent kid, because he's not. So, uh, Destiny, what is your opposition to what Mr. Girl is saying? <clears throat> when, so I believe that in today's climate of political discourse on Twitter, everywhere around the world, um, I think that a lot of the words that we've used have become so watered down that instead of them actually conveying meaning about a person, they just tell us how the author or speaker feels about a person. So for instance, when I hear somebody say, John is a rapist, what I'm really hearing somebody say is, John is a person that I really don't like who has maybe done like rude or bad things to women, but I don't know what that means anymore because rapist to you might mean that he literally drugged a woman and forcibly penetrated her, or it might mean that he like, you know, tried to like sext with her when she said no or sent her like a dick pic that she didn't want because people use that word to mean so much now. Or when somebody calls somebody a fascist or a Nazi, like that guy's a Nazi, what do you mean? Oh, well, he's got a Blue Lives Matter flag. Well, that doesn't make you a Nazi. Or somebody says he's a fascist. How do you know he's a fascist? He voted for Trump. Well, that doesn't make you a fascist. Is Harvey Weinstein a rapist? <clears throat> um, I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, is Bill Cosby a rapist? 
Bill Cosby probably, that's a really hard one too, but not because of what he's accused of doing, but because of the way that all those trials went down is is more complicated. But um but uh, can you finish like the Yeah, yeah. You were, the the yeah. um um, I would have to look at the Weinstein stuff. I don't know 100% what was going on with that, but the Cosby stuff, the way that that went down, there's a reason why that conviction got uh, overturned. But I don't, I don't know the Harvey Weinstein stories 100%. I know that he used his position of power, but I don't know if he engaged in like forcible rape or, or anything like that. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at the other stuff. But the, um, uh, but sorry, but yeah. So because these words have gotten so like uh, watered down or so fucked. Um, usually when I'm engaging somebody in a conversation, what I just want to find out is I want to find out what do you believe, and then I want to like hit on those points. So when I'm given somebody like Fuentes, the way that most people will argue with Fuentes is they'll be like, okay, well, aren't you a Nazi? Like you're a Nazi and I think Nazis are really bad. Like you're a fascist, dude. Like that's kind of all that they're doing. They're using those words to bring out the moral weight of those words to attack the person and then that's kind of it. And I feel like people that watch that conversation don't really get swayed one way or another. If you don't like Nazis or people called Nazis, you're not gonna like them. If you do like them, it's not gonna do anything. But if you like can penetrate those words and, and, and move past them and be like, okay, well, what do you think about this or this? And actually engage with the ideas, I like that approach way more because then I can actually like move a conversation forward to either condemn somebody for a particular belief or change their mind on something. That's usually what I prefer. So from what I'm hearing, it's just like, it really sounds like you guys aren't too far off from each other. So where's like the disagreement coming at? The disagreement is that I believe that Fuentes is using Steven to create confusion and um, ambivalence in his fans about how they feel about Fuentes and so they don't know what he believes, they don't know who he is, they don't know what he's doing and I think that Steven is playing into his hands by being unwilling for whatever reason to come up with what he, th after hours of talking to Fuentes, to either say, okay I get who this guy is or to acknowledge for some reason I still don't know who this guy is. I've been talking to him for weeks or years, I still don't really know who he is enough to call him a Nazi, or to admit that he's just unwilling to use this word, or I guess any fucking word, and have a strong sense of any definition of any word as long as the, the conversation is centered around Fuentes. I, I think that he like... is, I think he's boosting Fuentes enormously by, by doing this, and Fuentes is um, worming his way into Steven's community. No, I feel that, you know, um, I feel like he's also doing the same thing with Sneeko, you know? Absolutely. Uh, one thing I noticed when uh, we had that big debate, like, even when uh, Destiny would interrupt him or anything like that, usually when someone continuously gets interrupted, it's like, you know what, okay, you keep on interrupting me, I'm gone. But like, like you know, with him being banned and him only having his uh, network, he can only use uh destiny's platform or sneakers platform because let me be honest man who's gonna clip up uh nick's shit and post it up on tiktok if it's not from destiny's stream or if it's not from Sneak Sneak or stream. Mm -hmm. like no one's gonna like no one's clipping up their, that shit from uh cozy tv and posting it so like right. i feel i do i do really think that he is using both of y'all um that's yeah, why course, absolutely yeah of course yeah that's why me personally, like, you know, I think I've only talked to him, what, like twice? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay, I got the rundown of who he is, you know, I don't like what he stands for. And, you know, I'm, you know, I don't wish any ill will towards him, but me personally, I don't want to have him on my stuff. So I like, wish ill will towards his career, not towards him. Yeah, you know, that's fair enough. But, like, you know, I'm not going to like platform him. Like, to an extent, we all use people, you know, like, like if I have Destiny on my stream, you know, I'm using Absolutely. Destiny. Or if uh, you know, whenever I join his, he's using me. Or if he reacts to one of my videos, he's using me. If I react to one of his videos, he's using me. But it's one of those mutual things. Whereas like I feel unless, you know, Destiny thinks it's like good content and stuff, then obviously, you know, keep on having Nick on. But like I just feel like you know, if you do I feel like you have to know what he's about and everything. So it's like what new ground is there to tackle with well, the, I think that's the question I mean uh, with uh Nick. The question is what does Fuentes want to use you for? So when you and Steven go on each other's streams, you're using each other for money or views or clout or whatever, like that's fine. Fuentes doesn't want that. Fuentes wants to be a political power. He wants to be president or, or more than president. He wants power. And when he has that power, Stephen has said there is a chance he's going to commit genocide. He certainly wouldn't rule it out. 
So when he's using you to grow his platform so that he can perhaps kill you or me or people like us or gay people, I, I, I don't think it's the same. I don't, I don't think you should be saying, oh, well, if it's good content, do it. I don't, I don't agree with Hold that Hold on. So to be clear, my statement has never been, it's good content, do it. So my issue is that what I've seen- I know, seen, but that's what Gideon just said. I'm, not, I'm, I'm responding to what he said. My bad. The implication was that that was my reason. My bad. No, I, I, know your, I know your reasoning is different. Okay. But you're, you saying your reasoning does not counteract my reason for you to not do it. Sure. You are transferring power and wealth to somebody who may want to commit mass murder. Sure. I feel like, you know, this is a conversation. I know you're talking to Destiny about it, but like I feel like this conversation is more warranted towards Sneeko because of anything like when we had him on the debate like it was crazy like the his whole chat was W Nick W Nick W Nick W Nick or like it was the whole comment section being like but we need more of Nick man I like Nick or it's like I didn't know about this Nick guy before but yeah, I but really like him that's Steven's fault right I don't I don't know I don't know how uh Sneeko got introduced to Nick me personally like, okay. I don't, I, but so you, to you be agree, clear, but... Sneeko's community was like watching clips of Nick and he was promoting stuff before I ever interacted with him. Although even if it was the other way around, I don't think I would care about it. So okay. I, Mr. Girl, I just feel like you're... I think, I think that Steven's connection to Sneeko and Steven, Steven's sanitization of Fuentes played a large role in why Sneeko brought him onto that panel. Is, am, am, am I incorrect in assuming that? It could be true. It's not impossible. Do you think it's probable that if you hadn't, I mean, I, I think that, I think that having another friendly face on the panel and knowing that the, all three of you mutually know each other, you don't, I mean, Sneeko was bringing him on without me being involved. That's the only reason I jumped on this. I saw Nick was there and I knew that shit was going to get wild. And, I, and Abba was messaging me and I was messaging him. And I was like, oh shit, like Fuentes is about to go off on some wild shit. So that's why I hopped in, but that was before I was ever invited to that panel. So I didn't agree to set that up. I would have never agreed to set something like that up. That was Sneeko dragging him on. Okay, but do you agree that you platforming Fuentes is creating a lot of opportunities for him to have these conversations with other people that are not going to involve you and people who are much less equipped to argue with him or push back? Yeah, it's potential. There's a potential. It, it, it it's got not potentially. Me, it's I didn't absolutely. Even know who he was. Yeah, of course, he's going to reach out to every fucking person that he possibly can. He's reached out to me, too. I've been invited on on tons of different panels with, with Fuentes. And every single time somebody invites me on a panel with him, I say, I will interview him one-on-one. -on -one. We can have a weird, um, intimate Mr. Girl conversation. That's it. I'm not I'm not going to go on a game show with him. I'm not going to debate January 6th with him. I'm not going to do whatever the fuck, the fuck else I've been invited to do with him. Every single time I've said no... But there's a lot of people who are going to say, yeah, I mean, Stephen, are you really not going to acknowledge that you have paved the way for this to happen? I'm not. Hold on. Stop trying to act like I'm hiding from owning the logical conclusion of anything that happens. Obviously, you said it's possible. You said it's possible. That's hiding. I, that on. is hiding. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not acting like you're hiding. You are hiding, and no. I'm calling it out. Do you hold think on. you've paved the way for this to happen or not? You were dead wrong. I'm just being careful with my language, especially since you were like fucking uh, like vernacularly assassinating me with every imprecise term that I use, okay? It is almost certainly the possibility, okay? It's almost certainly what likely. What the fuck does that almost certainly the possibility? That's my next t-shirt. Because the reality is you don't I'm, actually I'm know. Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on. Your okay, shit on let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do you know 100% that Nick? Hold on. Do you know 100% that Nick would have talked to Sneeko if it wasn't for me? That is not. No, nope, stop. Answer that question. Answer the question. Do you know 100% that Nick wouldn't have talked to Sneeko if it wasn't for me? I don't know that for no. Stop. No. The answer is no. You you no. can't know that. You can't know that. Okay. So don't tell me that right. it's 100%. So I will be honest. I'll tell you. I yes. didn't say it's 100%. Okay. I said then I'm being clear. Probable. Probable means 51%. Okay. It, yes, it's probable slash possible slash whatever. More likely, I'm increasing the no, likelihood. No, no, probable of slash possible oh is God, you dude. evading. No, literally uh, the question. Oh, yeah. You can sigh dramatically, but you're it, fucking gaslighting. I'm not. No, stop saying I'm gaslighting Steven. you. <laughs> okay, I want to talk un uninterrupted for ten seconds. Will you just shut up for ten seconds? Okay, I think you've talked for the majority of this conversation. But go for it. That's because you've been gaslighting me and creating confusion for the majority of the conversation. Possible means less than 50% or more than 50% or just means more than 0%. Probable means more than 
So if I ask you a question and you say it's possible or probable, all that means is it's not 0%, which doesn't mean anything because we already knew that before I asked you. And the only reason I'm asking you is because I'm saying I think you're paving the way for him and you're not even willing to admit that you fucking plot like you, a huge content creator with people we call orbiters because you give them careers and create paths and relationships for them to network with other creators are not even willing to acknowledge that you are probably paving the way for Fuentes to grow his, his base. Do you what think the that fuck that's, are you talking about? Do you think that's something that I wouldn't say? I just uh, asked you to say it, and you said, I think it's possible or prob possible slash probable or whatever. That I'm increasing his exposure to his audiences. Yeah, of course. Okay. That's, pr that's a pretty yes, easy... Yes, the fact that you make it you make it take five minutes to get you to concede... Because you, every because when I say something, you come back later and you're like, oh, well, the way that you use this word technically here is you actually said that blah, blah, blah. Okay, sorry, so I'm just trying to be as precise with my well, language as possible, okay? That's, you're or being as probable. less precise. <laughs> you are being less precise intentionally to to filibuster and to create confusion. So now whatever Gideon came in here to talk about or ask is gone. The what conversation is dead in the water. I respond to him and you say, wait a second, I didn't say that. Every fucking turn, you are derailing the conversation into nothingness and then complaining that I'm talking too much. Okay, let me- There's two give me, sides hold on, of the hold on, equation. Give me like five seconds to just really quickly, okay? So sure. the question was posed to me about whether or not I'm going to assume it's, am I increasing the, increasing the likelihood of Fuentes becoming connected with larger figures that I'm becoming connected with? The answer to that is obviously yes. Of course I know that. No, Anybody no, the th question wasn't, no, I, I assumed that and I assumed you would also bite the bullet on that, but then you disagreed with it and then I had to ask you the what question. What am I, what, what? Because you stuck your foot out and tripped me while I was in the middle of making a different point. Then we had to have a five minute side conversation about, does it help your career to talk to destiny? Hmm, gee, I don't know. I guess it's possible slash probable. And then we have to have a meta argument about that and then bring in a meta argument about all the other meta arguments that we've had. When actually, you could have just not said anything and let me finish my fucking point. Okay. Um, did that answer your question, Jay? <laughs> Oops. Um. Yeah, man, I, I pretty much followed it and everything. Do you um, see that he is being slippery? Who? You talking about uh, Steven. Nick or... No, <laughs> Steven is being slippery. Nick, Steven, what's and the difference of this one? I'm sorry. I just, I just feel like Destiny, you know, because I feel like he's trying to do the right thing. You know, whenever Nick does come on these platforms, he tries to debunk it for everybody. But I feel like also Destiny has to realize that, you know, what might be sound and true for most people... It could sound like, uh, you know, quote unquote, woke liberalism or, you know, someone just has to interject and be like, oh, you stupid lib. Mm -hmm. And like everything he's saying is negated. So, you know, you, it, it's sad, but like, you know, it's going worse today. Like younger kids are more siding with uh, conservative views because, um, you know, the liberal side is kind of a little bit overbearing right now. And all those conservative views, although some are good. You know, you have the bad ones, like Nick slips under, you know. Wait, wait, Jiddy, are you going to catch a stray bullet right now? Because I'm pretty sure you platformed the Ku Klux Klan in your video <laughs> by giving them a full-on interview. What's the difference between what you did and what Destiny's doing? Do have the people that Jiddy and interviewed no, no, from no, the no, Ku Klux Klan... No, no. I want, want Jiddy to answer, and then you can go. Also, real quick, wait, before Jane, before you answer that question, because I was trying to trap you right now, it's possible that your thoughts could have changed since then as well. Just giving you that out, but go ahead. No, I'm, I'm going to be straight up. Like, you know, yeah, he's platforming him. Yeah, I platformed the Ku Klux Klan. But my thing is, you know, it's one thing if I go there one time and do it, and, you know, I leave it at that. But what my thing is, is like, you know, I platformed Nick too. He was on my stream. Like, there's no ifs, stands, or buts about it. My name's in on it. So I could. I, mean, I think it's worse to platform the Ku Klux Klan than there's Nick Fuentes, but I, that's just me. But what okay. I'm saying is, it's like, like push, if like every to. video I'm over here trying to tackle new ground with the KKK, and it's just like, I'm just straight up basically in part just becoming a, you know, KKK uh, hub mind just to have them talk. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, okay. it's one thing talking about it, but like, if there's new, because like, the, how long have they been beefing for? For years? Like, I don't, I don't know how long that's been. has been beefing for a long time. <laughs> no, I'm talking about you and Nick. Like, how long have you Sorry, been Sorry, yeah, probably like five or five years, maybe, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, you know, if you don't like his views and you don't agree with anything, like, what well, my point is, is just like, you know, what new ground is there to tackle? Okay, Jillian, I have a couple things to ask you. 
But hey, hey, Abba, you you uh, you smart man. You he got me there a little bit. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Don't worry. Yo, yo, he didn't yo. get you at all. It's, he was it's, just gaslighting it's you. A, it's a it's a yeah. He's just fucking with you. It's a fake argument. So, did any of the people that you talked to from the KKK? Do they are they streamers to your knowledge or content creators? <laughs> uh the biggest content I think they make is just them preaching at their church and putting up billboards so not okay. not too much yeah. influence right uh do, to your knowledge do any of them want to be or are they to have a career in politics where they're connected to congress people and trying to become president of the united states um one of the, the kkk guys son is like a district attorney um that's cool you know, I don't know what other power they hold. Okay, but you didn't really help that guy's career by doing this. I guess is my point that by you, they're they're not trying to plug into your social network, right? They, these KKK guys, they're not showing up on your panels, or you're not you're not seeing them. Like here's what happened to Steven. He did some content with Fuentes, and then he he looks at it on his stream. He sees a bunch of black guys hanging out, and then so all of a sudden Fuentes is there. Is that shit happening to you with your KKK people? Like. Are you seeing like a, a bunch of people that you know, your colleagues streaming, and then all of a sudden one of those KKK guys is there, and he's like, "Oh, hey guys, it's me from Gideon Stream. Now I'm famous." Does that has that happened to you? No, that hasn't been happening. But okay. what I will so say that's, is, that's you know, pretty different. Like, it is, but I, I feel like it's a different case though because you know, yes, mine's a bunch of old white guys. And, exactly. You know, that's that's Destiny probably why. It, that's probably why it wasn't. Yeah, that's why it's not the fucking same. It's not risky for you to talk to those people because you know that you're not actually tra they're not you're not giving them a career most likely. You're not transferring a, a huge amount of power and wealth and audience to these people and it's and and they don't even want it. They weren't they weren't trying to do that. Also, last question. Those people um that you interviewed, they're not lying about their beliefs, right? They're out out KKK members and they are open about their racist beliefs, and they were open to having them genuinely challenged. I think it's a little different from Fuentes lying about what he believes, hiding, explicitly saying, I'm gonna hide my anti-Semitic, pro-Nazi beliefs in jokes so that nobody knows what I'm saying and nobody can call me out on anything. But that's not true. I mean, they did soften a lot of their approaches to you know, their, their racist ideology. They were very diplomatic in their response. One can easily make the argument that the way that they presented themselves in the Gideon video was uh, in incredibly deceptive in order to make themselves feel more appealing and uh, neutral when actually they are far more insidious. We have no way of knowing because okay, we can't get that, into their heads and shadow right. box them. But that's, that's, that's possible, but have they, ever, have, they ever, have they ever stated publicly that they are going to lie about their beliefs so you don't know what they are? No. I repeat that. Have, the, have these KKK guys that Gideon talked to ever stated publicly, I am going to lie about my beliefs so you don't know what they are? No. But no, I'll go, but, my so wait, 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 Mike is overblown right now. I don't know why. Gain is up, volume is low. That's what it sounds like anyway. But All right, is this better? Yes. yes. What yeah. did you do? Wait, right, what did you do? I just turned down the game. Oh, do that every time. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so right, Fuentes right. has said that. Fuentes has said to create plausible deniability for my my anti-Semitic and Holocaust denial beliefs, I am going to make pretend that I'm joking when I'm really not. Okay, so he's admitted to the fact that he would lie for his own benefit. Uh, I don't yes. really care. It doesn't really change anything for me because I feel like everybody would lie for their own benefit in order to further their cause. Okay, so then why do you ever interview anybody? It, like, do you, you, you actually don't see a difference. So if you and I were going to do a stream, and right before I did the stream with you, you saw me say on Twitter, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lie to Abba about everything I'm about to say because uh, I think No, 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 that's not the popular. same thing. That's not the same thing. What you're saying is that he's saying he's going to lie to me before the interview. Well, the difference between what you're saying right now and what you stated before is it's people admitting like, yeah, there's situations in which I would lie to further my political goals. It's not the same as him saying, I'm going to come on this interview and specifically lie. In fact, I mean, that's, Mr. That's, Girl, that's, I could imagine... Okay, go ahead. That's not the comparison I'm making. I'm saying... Just because you imagine that people lie to help themselves, that's different from a political pundit whose sole goal in life is to spread his political views and gain political power, saying, not just I'm going to lie about X, I'm going to lie about my desire to genocide people. I'm going to lie about the fact that I am a Nazi and I'm going to make it into a joke. Do you okay. see how that's different? interviewing somebody like that and then saying well we can't no. really take what he says at face value versus just interviewing somebody 
maybe you know, maybe that doesn't I'm, change anything for you it doesn't change anything for me because when i when it comes to the political sphere i feel like vast majority of them will lie in regards to their positions on things in order to further their political cause so for me if you're asking me whether i think one or the other is more honest uh, i think most people would agree that they probably would prefer the person who says they admit okay. to lying than the person when the who average person when the average person lies mm -hmm. you might imagine what they're lying about right you can imagine if you could peek, peek behind the veil of a lie you'd see something Mm -hmm. For most people, that something is not genocide. What Nick Fuentes has told us is that it is. He's saying, the thing I'm hiding is that I'm a Nazi. So you can say, yeah, anybody could be lying, so who knows. But with Fuentes specifically, the thing he's hiding is that he wants to commit genocide. Okay. All right, so now bring this back you, to the original Do you care argument. about that? Do I care about the gravity of the lie that he's telling? Sure. Okay, so that is why well, all of those things taken together, I think it's a little different, and I think it's a gaslighting side tangent that you've brought us on once again to <laughs> fucking confuse us from what we're actually trying to talk about. That's why I think it's pretty different um, for Gideon to interview the KKK in a conversation where he has pretty much control over what's going to happen in the aftermath of this conversation. And me pointing out to Stephen, hey, you've kind of set this... Um, Fuentes guy free and now he's inviting himself onto panels with people and reaching out to people that he never would have had access to in the first place It would have been really weird for you to be on a panel with with like for him to for a Nazi to be on that panel That would be really weird, but Stevens made it not weird now. It's not weird to see Fuentes show up anywhere So mr. Girl, what do you think the repercussions is gonna be with Nick Fuentes like growing in popularity? I don't know. I'm afraid of the worst What's the one in your opinion? The worst is he becomes a dictator and and you know, puts a lot of people in death camps. That would Wait. be the worst. That's the worst case scenario. How the fuck would he become a dictator? Um, well, it seems like a good path to becoming a dictator now involves convincing the country that democracy doesn't exist and that if you lose an election, the people who won the election are lying. Um, of course, convincing convincing people that everybody who's acting democratically is against you in a plot and that they're all lying to you, which seems apparently pretty easy to do. I, so, I, I understand what you're saying, but like, there's just no way. I'm not no saying it's way. likely. That, that's, that's not true that there's no way. It's very unlikely. But yeah, that's the worst case scenario. I think what's more likely is that he grows his fan base and um, to a pretty large degree and then kind of burns out at some point in like his late 20s or 30s and just kind of crashes. But before then, I think that he will, like he did at the January 6th insurrection, cause um, death, terrorism, stochastic terrorism, planned terrorism, um, minorities and LGBT people being physically attacked and harmed, um, in inspiring this stuff. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the the, the so is he light, radical? Is he like? Is he yeah, radical? he's a fucking crazy person. He was there at January sixth, screaming at people to go into the Capitol and take their country back, meaning kill Congress people and kill Mike Pence. Yes, he's radical. Okay. Uh... Right, and so you assume that oh, oh he's Sneeko's friend or he's Stevens' friend. You don't know that. You didn't know that he got a subpoena from Congress to come and talk to them about his 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 role in the January sixth insurrection. Right, you okay, wouldn't so know that. He seems so just gonna, like, he's, he's, you think he's just another funny conservative, but he's actually a fucking crazy person. And he's been let into your living room by Steven. <laughs> he's a Nazi. He's a literal Nazi. I'm like, he wants to kill you. Hold, 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 hold up, Gideon. I, I want to ask you, I want to ask you a question. When you hear the word Nazi, Gideon, do you get like a, a shiver down your body? Do you, do you give a shit? Or am I the only one who's just like, I hear Nazi and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what that shit means anymore. Bro, now when I hear Nazi, I just think of like, white people with confederate flags like, I don't okay, like, let really me tell you let me tell you what it means let me tell you what I'm just it gonna means be honest, because cause I hear I hear him and, and listen obviously me and Gideon have, have had extensive conversation about how bad we think he is so it's not like we're sitting here not thinking he's an absolute terrible person I absolutely both agreed on it um, but it's just funny hearing you go off about this and just using the word Nazi because to me honestly it, it I don't really care about the term. I just want to know what his fucked up positions are because I feel like that's far more relevant. I just feel like you think okay. like, let me like, like let me... Hitler and uh, like how yeah. Hitler like grew in political power. Yeah, let me. Like, I feel let like me, yeah. think let he's me tell Hitler you. and he's. I don't think he's ever gonna be that. And I think let the issue that probably me and you also have, Gideon, is we've heard so many people use the word Nazi for like innocuous forms of like minor or even like non-real racism that now I hear the word people use it and I'm just like, bruh, like, what is this supposed to mean? You guys have I'll tell you, this here, word so I'll tell bad. You, I'll, tell you what it, I'll tell you what it means. It means that he's a fascist. 
Yes, yeah, I don't know what that means either anymore. It, I'll t- explain that now, too. It means he doesn't believe in democracy. It means he wants a top-down authorian government with himself as dictator. It means he wants to impose his beliefs on you, and he doesn't want you to have free speech. And most importantly, it means he believes in ethnic cleansing, meaning he wants to kill you, kill your family, kill me, Word. kill my family, kill gay people, kill anybody who doesn't fit his perfect idea of what a, a good genetic... Word. specimen of the human race. See, if you'd have just said that, you probably would have got me to listen a lot more than if you just said he's a he's a he's a he's a Nazi. I, I really don't care about that word. Well, you should. Well, I appreciate you telling me what I should care about, but I, I just told you I prefer. It doesn't sound like you the do. Points. No, I don't. But the other stuff that you mentioned, that's way more interesting. That's what I'm trying to say. So as a normie, okay, okay someone who's not part of this debate sphere or whatever you guys got going on, no, no, no. I'd rather no, just no, hear no, no, the no, no, policy. No. The reason stuff. you don't want, no, the reason you don't know what a Nazi is is because you are a terminally online debate bro. That's why you don't know what a Nazi is. A normal person, if you go up to them on the street and you say that guy's a Nazi, they don't say, oh, this word is so overused. Oh my God, everybody says everybody's a Nazi. They know what it means, especially a, a older person. Like yeah, I would bet a hundred thousand dollars. I would bet a hundred thousand dollars. That's I would go up to ten normies on the street, ask them what a Nazi is, and each of them would give me mostly incoherent examples, not examples, definitions of it. Almost I would bet. Sure. A, I will put that, my that, life savings like, yeah. on that. Hold the on. fact yeah, that without, you sat there and said, "Was that?" Yeah, that's obviously true. If you ask somebody what a Nazi is, they're going to say somebody that doesn't like Jewish people. That's going to be the, or they'll say World War II Germany. That's what they're going to say. They're going to have no World idea. World War II Germany is a fine answer. That's, hold on. No, because that, is that, what that I'm doesn't saying. describe I'm saying when you, I'm saying, no, it does. I'm saying look at pictures. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, I that, know. I'm no, so no. soy. I'm so soy, Stephen. I'm so overreacting. No, hold on. I'm telling let me, you. No, listen, let me wait, finish. No, hold let me you finish. Just, I just said like four words, okay? The fact that you would appeal to older people knowing what a Nazi is. I just when t- we, we went through a whole era of the Red Scare where my mom and dad think that every fucking Democrat is a communist means that obviously older people don't have good grasps of what these terms mean, okay? And before we got into this era of politics, when I was younger, Thinking Democrats calling- are communists is not the same as not knowing what a communist is. If you ask them what a communist is, they're not gonna say Hillary Clinton or AOC. Yeah, they they're absolutely would, they're gonna, would. No, they they're would. gonna say, they're gonna say Stalin. No, you they're say, gonna say, no, say, no, no, no. You say, if no, you say to no, somebody on the no, street, no, give me your no, best no, example, no, give me your best they're, example of a Nazi, you think that they're gonna say, what, Bush? If, if you ask somebody what Trump? is a communist, they're going to say somebody that is for big government spending. That's what they're going to say a communist is. If you ask any person on the street. I think that you are lost in the debate bro sauce, my friend. You, if you hold on. No, on this is from my real world. This is before I ever got into online. This is when I was a kid. If you walk up to somebody on the street and you say, give me your, give me, who, when I say the word Nazi and you have to name one person, who is that person? Hitler. The answer is Adolf Hitler. And that is a great comparison. <laughs> because he believes the same thing that Nick believes. And in fact, Nick said on a Twitter space one month ago that your community is like a group of autists that have decided to embrace being gay instead of embracing Hitler. Is that supposed to have like a big emotional impact on me? Or? No, it's supposed to have a big emotional impact on your audience that it doesn't have an emotional impact on you. It's supposed to show you, Gideon, and... ABBA's audience, anybody who's watching, that you guys are not equipped to deal with this. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. He is a sophisticated political operator who's convinced you that he is just a sweet, little, innocent, incel, blah, 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 and you think your $100,000 in your bank account and you being able to walk around and say, oh, if I ask 10 people on the street, like, you know everything and you know the political climate of this country and you say, oh, he's not like he's gonna go to Hitler. You, have, you don't know anything about Hitler's rise to power. You don't know where Hitler was two years or three years or four years became, before he became dictator of the country he was sitting in a jail cell embarrassed and alone with no party to speak of after committing an act just like the january 6th insurrection but you guys don't know that you are so in over your fucking heads that when i tell you stephen has let this man who wants to kill you and kill your family into your living rooms your response is to say oh well then why did you call him a nazi i object to the you don't you you don't fucking care you don't care yo mr girl like i'm not gonna lie like if if everything you're saying is true and like he's gonna be like the next Hitler, like you know, maybe I'm not just saying, the platforming's I'm not, not the only option. Sounds like you want to go to like war, like you no, know, I don't want to go to I don't want to like, go to war. No, absolutely, up. like no, like, like, bro, like, like, I don't want to I don't want to go to war. I want you to be informed. But 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 like who you're, you're, you're about saying who that you could buddy be the is. next Hitler. Bro, he's not my a lot of, A lot of people could be the next Hitler, but he is the only person I know of. Bro, you're going to have to go get a strap and go uh, 
Go have a 1v1 with Nick in Nuketown. I think as a Jew, that is your responsibility to save your people. Why is that, Abba? I mean, I mean consider the history. Abba, Abba, I, I, I'm not, just saying, Abba. consider the history. I'm just saying. Abba, you can play the race card if you want, but there's a lot more of your people in this country than there are of mine. I'm can sure we to so like, can we turn the temperature down? I'm in Portugal. Can I'm we turn, turn the temperature of this conversation way the fuck down, okay? Okay, you're in, okay, are, you're in Portugal, so is it, is, it, is it... No, no, no. I don't want to turn the temperature down. Abba, <laughs> if, you think, if you think that a Nazi growing in power in this country is a Jew problem and not a black problem... You are out of your fucking mind. This country is 0.5% Jewish and 14% black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, you feel really pressed about it. I don't feel as extreme about it as you do. That's but because yes, you're I think, naive. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe you're way more educated on world history and all these all this topics, and so you know. But the moment you told me that you think that people really know what a Nazi is, or they can give you a good definition, or they can tell you who is accurate, communists is, and they would say Stalin, I realize that you are very disconnected from the general populace because regular people would not say that. If you, Judeon can also and speak I, to and this. I think hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll just finish, I'll just finish, I'll just finish, because you are. love filibustering, so I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish. I think Judeon would probably back me up on this in saying that if he asked most of his crowd who they think someone is a communist, they would not say Stalin. Judeon, what do you think? Yeah, man, um, I don't even think a lot of my friends even know what a communist is. Do they know who, do they know who Hitler is? Uh, nah, nah, man. Who's who's that? <laughs> Stop. He's fucking with you on the last one, but I think he was serious on the first one. No, I'm actually being serious. Like, I don't know who that is. Who is it? Uh, now I don't know if he's joking or not. Abba, is he joking? Uh, I actually don't know anymore. <laughs> Yo, listen, young people are different, man. <laughs> young people are different. You you be surprised. Wait, I'm pretty sure if I go to most, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not even joking. Is he like I'm a not even joking. Like Hitler? He's uh, fucking like, around. He's got to be fucking around. Or is he like, you know, a misogynist? Like, it sounds like he said hit her. I don't know what he said. Uh, I, okay. I respect Judeon just sticking okay. with the troll. But okay. no, no, Judeon, seriously, I'm asking you seriously. Oh, he's doing the if, thing if, you said. Like, just leave it out there. Don't, like, apologize yeah, for it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, if you learn from God. this guy on how to tell jokes. All right, I got it, better. dude. I got it for the future. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Judeon. Yes, I'm glad. See, there's been progress tonight. But Judeon, I'm, ser I'm seriously asking you, okay? If you went to your audience and you thought you asked them, like, who's a communist or who's a, who, who's a Nazi? Who do you think they would point to? Uh... If, who I think name, they would point to? You said if you had to name one person to represent the definition of the word Nazi, who do you think they would say? Um, definitely no one in prior history. I feel like they would. Um, in, in all honesty, I feel like you know, Loki, my audience, they would say, uh, you know, some of like the woke commentary YouTubers are Nazis today. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I I just don't. I just don't believe you, but that's fine. No, but I, I, I mean, it's not really relevant. It's not really relevant to the point I'm making. The whole point I was trying to make. But to be clear, right. conservative you know, commentators, like my, when I was a kid, used to call them. They would say feminazis. Like that was where I remember learning that term growing up. Like, like Michael Savage and shit. Yeah, that's that's fine. Or uh, you know, Michael I don't, Savage I don't care. Like I don't care. That, anyway, my point is that you have let this person into your circles. Um, if you're Egidian, if you're concerned about seeing this, and you're like, oh, who is this guy? Why is he reaching out to me? As I said. The thing that set us off on this whole tangent is that is Steven's fault. And I feel like that's fair enough to say, like, you know, if you want to say, like, you know, Steven unleashed the, um, what, 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 what show is that where they unleash something? I don't know. But you're basically saying Steven unleashed the beast and everything. You know, that's fair enough to say. But I feel like you're fearing, like, I feel like your theory of him rising to power. So is theory. Like, you asked me the worst case scenario. But like I feel like your worst case scenario is what you think is going to happen. That's why, because I feel like you no, be I don't think that's going to happen. It. I told you what I think is going to happen. I think a realistic thing that is going to happen is that he's going to grow his fan base as, as it's already pretty large. It's going to get larger and include some of your fans. Some of these fans are going to become radicalized. They're going to go try to break into an FBI building or break into the government, and some Word. secret service agent is going to shoot them in the fucking face. Bro, but there are, and it's going to be, and it's going to be your fault for being naive. Okay, but you're saying that That's they're the worst case these scenario. government places. You're scared about these government places and the capital and stuff, but people already are being radical, uh, radicalized or whatever the word is. Yeah, in I don't want to add to life. it. And I like think as dude, somebody who is an audience... The dude that shot the people up in Buffalo, you know, he yes, was Yes, exactly. By more of that. Yeah, more black people getting shot in grocery stores, except this time some of that blood splashes onto your hands because you didn't do a good enough job of stopping it. That's but my, my point for all of this is that like, stuff like Buffalo and stuff like Trump and stuff like Christchurch 
that's all already happening. And it seems yes. like this idea of people brushing, die no, every day. No, no, yes, no, no, people no, no, are no, murdering no, no, each other stop. every day. Doing who blood is bad. bad. Hold on. Or who blood does it go on yeah. for all these yeah. other? What I'm saying is that what I'm saying what I'm saying is that our inability to engage with all of this. And you just sweep it under the rug and say, great replacement? What's that? That's racist. Trump, who's that? He's a fascist. Um, you know, Nazis, what are that? They're bad people, KKK, blah, blah, blah. Blue Lives Matter, those guys are fascists. Those guys are religious. That that engagement in society is not working. That strategy is not working. And people on the that left not, have lost the ability to, to engage with the other side. And calling I'm people not, Nazis and calling people response. fascists doesn't get us anywhere because those words don't mean anything anymore. I would the rather side, have somebody... The side of Nazis is a microscopically small side. There is nobody even really recognizably representing that side who has a platform except Nick Fuentes is now, thanks to you, the most powerful Nazi in the United States of America. Fuentes was... Have you watched <laughs> AFPAC? Fuentes already had like a conference with like a thousand people and like actual Republican lawmakers. How about 500,000? How about a million? How about 5 million? You are the one who I just, just plugged I, as long as I get a YouTube percentage algorithm. of his donations on Cozy, okay? Because if he's getting that many Bro, motherfuckers off me, Yeah, Jesus let's use Christ. semi-irony. You know what my worst fear really is? My worst fear is Oh, the, I'm is sorry. That, me, that, you implying that I'm going to get an audience of 500,000 and now you're attacking me for using semi-irony. My bad. Destiny, do you not see what you fucking did? Yep. You unleashed a monster on us. He's My the most powerful fear. Nazi in the fucking world. My he's worst gonna use, fear. He's gonna cozy all of us. My worst fear. Him is and his shitty though, ass green screen. <laughs> green screen. Even though you have made a terrible showing in this argument, and that you have gaslit me and made all of these side tangents and jerked me around and created confusion and changed the subject five hundred times, and even though I can see you doing it that I didn't do a good enough job of calling it out because I love you and because you're my friend. And that all of that, those st stochastic terroristic acts are gonna happen and I'm gonna feel like it's my fault. That's my worst fear. Okay, well, Doesn't that make you a bad person to prioritize your friendship over the fact that you could save hundreds of people? Yeah, maybe. Right. Because I, th I would argue that if I've heard you didn't want to tell your friend the truth, uh, because you know you didn't want to hurt their feelings instead of saving hundreds of people i would argue you you might be an even worse person so then let me make it as clear as i can I yes I, I want you to go in on steven don't hold back tell him oh everything because God, you have a duty to receive you, you, have, you no, no 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 if you honestly believe the threat is as imminent as you say you have a moral imperative i think that's the word you used earlier i'm learning uh to tell him the truth and not back out so go steven hi I think that you're gambling people's lives here. I'm aware of that. Okay. And I think that you have a moral imperative to not delete threads in your subreddit giving you pushback about this. I think you need to take in as much feedback as you possibly can. And I think you, um, if you're going to engage with Fuentes, I think you should be much more careful, as I've already said. Okay. Destiny, can I say something too? What would you like to say? I, as a proud LGBTQRSTV, WXY, and Z non-binary member, would like to say I feel really at risk right now that Nick is going to bust inside my house and cozy my asshole. So I hope you can sleep at night with that in your mind. I don't, I just said, let it be known that I don't support or approve of JDM's messaging here. Okay. <laughs> I just want do you that see to be how the do you see how the irony espoused by you around this topic, the tone set by you in this chat is I now think you is contributed more. Is no, just, now, I think you did, contributed to it more than I did. That's fine. Okay. Well, but you're it's sure not, not fine backing me you, up. Like it's fine, but you have people with audiences of millions, black people mm. in this conversation <laughs> with audiences black of people. millions. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Black, Black people, people tell us, tell us in this more. audience, in this conversation with an audience of millions, who would, who would, who are more afraid of being seen as soy. But isn't that kind no, of the they, problem? They, they are, no, 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 no. More no, no, afraid no. of being seen as soy than they nah. are of, nah. okay, of watching, <laughs> of watching more. I'll, I'll respond. I'll watching respond. more mass shootings where minorities okay. are targeted. Okay, I'll, I'll respond. I'll respond. So, okay. you, since you were, you know, talking about black people and you're referring to me as part of the ensemble, um, it's not. It's not that we're afraid of being soy. That's never even crossed my mind. Maybe subconsciously, maybe there's some operating that you can see that I can't. But I would say that probably at least 
<laughs> sure. Hey, man, listen. You want an armchair psychologist and you can see it, then congratulations. What I would say is that as somebody living in North America and you constantly have the news thrown at you all the time, um, you're constantly told about imminent threats every single day coming from left, right, center, Nazis, um, communists, all this stuff. That at some point, the terms start to lose meaning and you start to disengage with the conversation because if you don't, trying to internalize all these things that everyone's trying to convince you are real threats becomes too difficult to parse through. And so as a natural reaction to this, when I hear the term Nazi, I shut my brain off just because I've heard it used so many times about things that never turned out to be. Shut, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. shut your brain hold up, off. Let me finish. Let, let me just you finish. You should do finish. it in private. Let, 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 let me just finish. You shouldn't shut it's your all, brain off and okay, talk to all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, because you're not letting me finish my thought, I'll just speak over you as well. So, as a result, when I'm online and I'm seeing this stuff and people are telling me, this is a threat and this is a threat, I have to parse through certain things and be like, I don't really see that as a threat or I don't see this as a threat. Uh, when it came to Nick, that came as a complete surprise. We weren't ready for that engagement. We weren't ready for that conversation. But it's not like we've come out after the fact and be like, Nick's a great person. We can't really have him on. We push back on him to some degree on the panel itself. But even after that, um, we haven't tried to engage with him or try to be crazy about it because we don't have the aptitudes to talk about the stuff that he's talking about. So I, I reject the notion that we somehow come online and try to make him very palatable to the masses. If anything, you are, I'm making, getting him, you are making him palatable. The first thing you did was come into this conversation and compare... Wentez to Gideon interviewing KKK people and then argue with me about it for 10 minutes. That is, uh, exactly, would, the, that is exactly the kind of anti-soy, trying to make yourself look cool, getting a dunk on Mr. Girl kind of stupid ass behavior okay. that runs interference for Fuentes because he's not anything like Gideon. You don't even think he's like Gideon. You're not even capable of being sincere about this conversation. You shouldn't even fucking be in here. You should not be talking about this topic if you cannot be sincere about it, which is a lot of my message to Steven. If you find it so distasteful to, to, to call somebody out from a moral point of view and say, hey, I think what you're doing is wrong, then you should not talk to Nazis. You are not equipped psychologically or morally or whatever the fuck it is that you're missing that makes you not want to do that, you just should stay away from them. Okay, so the first thing, you said Nick Fuentes, and then I compared it to Gideon's talking to the Ku Klux Klan. Yes, I absolutely do think that the Ku Klux Klan is worse than Nick, worse than Nick Fuentes. You may disagree. I don't personally care. If you were to I, ask no, me... No, I don't I would, disagree. Hold on, that's, hold on. No, no, that's no. That's not what I said. I don't want right, to hear any more of your fucking back. lies. No, I don't no, want to no, hear I'm your gonna, lies. That's not what you I do said. This thing. You do this thing where you're convinced you were gaslit, and so you try to gaslight me into thinking I gaslit you. Maybe you're not gaslighting me. Maybe you actually don't understand what I said. Or maybe you don't remember what you said because you're not as good at communicating what, as you what think I that you said are. is that you compared Stephen platforming Fuentes to no, Gideon. No, that's not what you said. That's not what you, that's to, what you're saying now. G you're, you're remixing what you said. And so you can go back and play the clip, but that's not what you said. You compared the platforming of Fuentes when you first came in. We're talking about what you said. Do you remember what you said when you came into the call? You said, well, hey, Gideon, if you're gonna, if you're, you're gonna criticize Steven for platforming Fuentes, didn't you interview the KKK? You made the comparison. I'm just repeating it. You said that. That was a stupid thing to say. The reason that was a stupid thing to say is because you don't actually believe those two things are the same. You were just fucking around because you're not capable of taking this topic seriously because All you right. want to, I don't know, you want to look smart or funny or cool or something. And, okay. and maybe maybe it's working. Maybe your audience loves it. And maybe just or, real, like, wait, wait, just real quick. Or, or maybe we just fundamentally disagree on whether or not we think the other one's worse. Why is it that every time you have a disagreement, you always lead immediately to you're being disingenuous or you're trying to appeal to somebody you're trying to be good friends because a lot of you streamers are spineless disingenuous fucks that's why okay well that's great i'm glad that you were able to pigeonhole me and put me in this group and say this is your then shit then behavior. fucking without being disingenuous please explain to me why it makes sense for you to come into this conversation and say that stephen platforming a nazi leader of his okay. own political party is the same as gideon or just as bad as gideon interviewing kkk people once or twice Okay, okay, so this is easy, all right? This is not very okay. difficult. It's actually what I believe. So this is not a disingenuous thing. You can just say, ah, but maybe you're not intelligent enough, and that's okay. You don't have to immediately assume that I'm doing something fucking mischievous, okay? My thought process, and this is simple, is that if Gideon's going to interview these Ku Klux Klan members and then 
to a young audience that he has, he's painting them in a favorable light or somehow a more reasonable light. It is very easy to imagine that with his huge audience of millions of people, they're not looking like, yo, his conversation with the Ku Klux Klan wasn't that bad. They don't seem like they're that bad of a people. And they have a revisionist history of one of the most terrifying groups in America. Now, I can easily make that case for you to sit there and act like what I'm trying to say. No, no, that's that's one part of it. No, that's one part of the case. Now you have to make the case where that is equally as bad. And I agree that's possible. You have to make the case where that's equally as bad as handing a career in streaming and access to streamers with millions of followers to the leader of a group of Nazis who tried to take over the government two years ago. It's easy. It's easy. I think the impact okay. that the negative impact that Jadine Young with his giant platform reaching over five million people with that video that's been reshared and rebroadcast and so many people yes. is probably Fuentes. a larger in reach and so therefore would become more uh, harmful did, did, than did, anything did Jadine Fuentes put, did. Did didn't put Fuentes on his channel? Um, actually, I wasn't streaming, but like just I, I consider myself still being part of it just because I was in like the title, you know what I mean? And my name holds a lot of weight. Yeah. So, so I, I, okay. yeah, okay, I, think, so I, think... I just want to, I just want to wrap the point. The, the whole point I'm making is you can certainly make the case that maybe what destiny is doing is worse. What I'm trying yes, to fight against, what I'm, oh, no, 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 no. What, what I'm trying to push back is the characterization that you gave me as some fucking uh, anti soy, uh, just here for the lulls. Like my argument was so out of like left field that it doesn't make any sense. If you can concede yes, that it doesn't it does, make any sense. There's no way you can compare a one-off interview. Okay. with giving somebody a career, hanging out with him, eating chicken and waffles with him, watching, laughing while he asks people on the street if they're Jewish, inviting him into your home, and then connecting him with a bunch of other creators who, because they're fucking greedy, naive, and don't want to appear soy, are probably going to keep, I'm not saying you're going to do this, but they're probably, but because they fucking think like you, and, and maybe are less responsible than you, are going to platform him more and more and more, give him access to more and more people, and every single person he has access to, he's going to put on his list of contacts, he's going to reach out to every single person, and do as many streams with all of them as possible. That's not happening with what Gideon did. But Mr. That was Mr. not Girl. even a possibility. I like I agree with you to an extent, but like I feel like everybody watching like chat, you can agree with me or disagree. But chat, do you yes or no, do you agree with anything Nick stands for or believes in? Yes or no? And I'm pretty How can sure they, answer? they don't even know what he believes in or stands for. If you ask but, him, he's gonna say, Well, do you believe in like being funny? Do you believe that like women ha- are are like working too much and that they should okay, kind of get like, back in the kitchen and get know. get back to more feminine roles? I mean, girl, you know, do you guys girl. believe like he's gonna? He, you don't know okay, what he believes. Me, okay, but everybody in the chat, even even what they do know sure. as of right now, they say no, they don't. But I guess just hearing them discourse and stuff, that's what they enjoy. So okay, the, 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 here's, like, the, here's the wait. I have, I got, here's the problem. The thing they think they disagree with is like maybe him being anti-gay or him being far right or him okay, being but if they support. disagree with that then they don't agree with him at all so it's just i know it, but it, even it, even in that being the thing that they think he is is already a victory for him because the real thing that they should be disagreeing with is putting you in a fucking gas chamber and killing you and your family but they he, they don't it doesn't even occur to them that that's what he wants to do or that's what he's thinking because he's so never the, so ever even, ever even, talking about that ever for you to attack him on that point makes you look insane and you've lost the ability to communicate to anybody that would otherwise hear him when does is not talking think, about why do you think he said? Why do you think he's? Why do you think he said that your audience should embrace Hitler? There, it's fucking jokes to some extent. Can you can you say and that? To like what extent some... that it's not a to whatever okay. extent it's yeah, not a joke? Why don't you? Ha, like, do you why think, don't we? Wait, let's run. To whatever let's... extent it's not a joke. Well, no, no. To whatever extent it's not a joke. You ask me why would I say that? Do I, do I seem insane? Yeah, because you're making me seem insane. But you could stop okay, doing that but... anytime you want to grow a fucking sure. spine. You're welcome to stop doing that. Why okay. did if you he say? Want so you to said to some extent he's not oh joking. God, so then, why? Do, the what does it mean to okay. embrace Hitler? What does embracing Hitler mean to you? If you want to engage with him on that level, then you're free to do so. And all you're okay. going to do is you're going to run headfirst over into the like it's a joke over and over and over again, and you're going to look By like a moron. By making this counter argument, you are admitting that saying what I'm saying is impractical, not that it's not true. That's the whole so point of what me, I go for is practicality. My goal is to not win like some purist ideological language war. But the practicality, the, the the bare, the bottom bedrock of your practicality is what is going to get you listened to and help you. And the problem with that is that you have a big gap where you're not willing to call a Nazi a Nazi. And you're not willing to say, We're well, if, if you are... 
But if you're willing to call him a Nazi, he has called listen, him a Nazi. Dude, yes, he has. And in this conversation, he said he's not. So he's uncalled just, him a Nazi. It's he's gonna called him a Nazi. It's going to depend on the context. Like, when you're changing the subject every time, time you talk. Time. If you want me to respond to anything you've said, you need to stop doing that. If you want to have a back and forth, I will talk much less. Please just respond to my points. You ask me, why okay, am I I'm just saying letting that you, I'm going to keep talking because you're I can't respond to any of your points because you rambled for like five minutes. And even though I've been trying to write down what you're saying. No, you can't respond to my points because you're too scared to even though that's you, why you can't respond bro i've been doing this shit for like seven years for politics yes years for and streaming. so you would think that I'm you'd be able to respond off of to Twitch. this point i'm perma banned off of twitter i'm not scared. so am i motherfucker I'm not scared. so am i i'm not scared okay okay then so whatever the so, fuck the on. reason is stop saying i'm scared the reason is because we have an ideological difference okay it's the same reason why i'm even no talking no no to I, you I, in I, the I, first I, place ideological because before ideal anything ever happened everybody in the internet was calling you a pedophile but i was yeah, one of the yes, few people that I don't engage and i don't engage with that word that way i don't care if somebody An calls somebody a pedophile what i want to know is what do people believe that's the only reason why i've talked to you so you can say on one end i'm taking people like fuentes and i'm giving them a career he's already got yes. a career he's already had yes. half pack he's already had republican lawmakers but on the other hand there's other up Sides to what I do, which is arguably giving you a career, which actually would, is a one to one thing, which really, and the only reason that was the case the was because, no, 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 the only reason, even? the only reason that was the case was because I have my policies on language. I'm not going to look you know at somebody that's just called a Nazi or a pedophile or whatever and go, oh, well, that's it. I'm just going to throw the word around and engage with them. I'm going to talk to the person. I'm going to engage in a deeper level with their ideas. I'm willing to end my career to also end Fuentes's, and you're not. Yeah, I'm not willing. Wait, to. Why, why would I end my career? I, mean, I, I, I think that's a bit dishonest. You weren't even gonna fight Destiny on the fact that uh, he was saying some extreme stuff because y'all are friends. Now, now you're saying you're gonna end your career? Come what on. What do you mean I wasn't going to? I'm, I said I'm worried I'm not doing a good enough job Wait, of it Mr. because Girl, of friends. I've been fighting him on it. Yeah. Why did Why did Destiny call you a pedophile? No, no, I didn't. But that's what people would say about him. Wait, what happened? <laughs> you can go into that if you want. No, no, we're not gonna sidetrack it. You know, that's a, that, that, you can do your own. Well, hold on, wait, but real quick, because that sounds ambiguous as fuck. It's nothing to do with like children or anything. It's just there's like a there was a very edgy movie. Have you ever heard of the movie called Cuties? Uh. There's like a very edgy movie. He did kind of a review of it that like deal, dealt with like the actual substance of the movie. And a lot of people, when they see that, they get instantly uncomfortable. Like, oh, he's a pedophile. So for a long time, that's what like everybody kind of like had called him. He's like, oh, he's a pedophile, and that was it. Did you did you give a good review of the movie? I don't want to talk about it right now because I feel that this is again another smoke screen. I'm not tangent. Okay, no, I, wanna, okay, so, my bad for Gianna, if you, you want to talk about know, cuties. He just threw that out there and I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I like, know. That's, that's a, what that's he does. Why I it's to why, know. That's like, why I he's, that's, I know. He did it so that you'd have that reaction so that we wouldn't talk that's, about no, it. No, I didn't about. have a negative reaction. But to answer your question of why I am bringing up gas chambers, is because Fuentes said he wants your fans to embrace Hitler. That's what Hitler's known for. I don't know if you know that, as for putting people in gas chambers, invading other countries, and killing innocent people. Then you said, well, there's, he's somewhat joking. To the extent that he's not somewhat joking, that's your answer. That's why I'm bringing up the Holocaust. That's why I'm bringing up genocide. Because he said he's going to joke to cover up his intentions. And then his joke is, I want your audience to, to embrace Hitler. It's simple as, man. Uh, one thing I will say is if you go back and rewatch any part of this conversation, okay, I saw that you were already being critical of me in our DMs, which is fine. But even seeing that, I was like, hey, if you want to come on and chat, we can talk because it'd be good to have this conversation in the open because it relates to moderation policies on my subreddit. I have no problem doing that. I even let you read the full Reddit post and then I give an explanation for why I usually delete posts like that. I did all of them in the open. For me to go that far and be willing to engage in this conversation where I know we have huge disagreements on and it's possible my, my community might even side with you on the thing, that to do all of that and then for you to just say that I'm bad faith gaslighting the entire time is a little bit... I don't want to say rich, but like, I feel like I'm doing my best to engage in this conversation in good faith. I don't I'm think just you to... are. No, I don't think you are. I think you're doing your best to make me look insane. And I think you're good at it. But I don't think you're doing your best to good faith engage in this conversation. You've asked questions that you absolutely know the answer to. You've made claims that are wildly impossible to substantiate. Like, you don't know if you've helped give Fuentes a career or a platform. Of course I'm helping like, him. I've you never said, said, you said otherwise. You said Fuentes, you said, did you see his AFPAC thing? I'd had no influence on anything. That's the same Britney Simon I'd shit that you got no... criticized for in the post in the first place. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think you've done in this conversation every single thing you got criticized for in the post. So clearly, you need to read these posts, so you really shouldn't delete them, because I don't think you've learned the fucking mm -hmm. lesson 
lesson from the post. So I can give you two examples right there of you actually acting in bad faith. You just made okay. two statements truly that neither you nor I know that either of us believe. We both okay. know that I haven't said and I don't believe that I haven't helped Nick at all. Obviously, I have a little bit. And then you're saying, I'm saying that I have no influence. And then you bring no, up no, the you AFAC said, example. You said it's possible. You said possibly or probably. What I Meaning said, you wouldn't answer the question. And I'm saying I'm, you knew the answer to the question is that yes, you've helped him. But instead, you interrupted it, me to say that you don't know that you've helped him oh when you know God. that you do. It's just and so, that's just a lie. This it's is, just a lie, man. This is bad faith. I'll, I'll leave it up to the audience to interpret. If you guys think that I think You'll that I haven't. You'll leave it up to a, your audience to interpret. Had, but if they interpret it negatively, and they write an essay about it, you'll delete it. But other than that, it's they up to the audience. They can write any essays they want, as long as they're not calling yes, me they names can write or being an essay weird they want. And, uh, Calling you weasily in an argument is not calling, calling you a Calling me name. weasily, saying, God damn, this is painful, he's making a Britney tier argument, of course that this is That is not... Like, Yes, that it made that is as an arg, that is an insult paired with a criticism for sure. But if you're going to say that you're going to delete any criticism that reaches that level of insulting, again, I don't think you are equipped to deal with Fuentes. Then you don't think you should be doing this because if you are going to do this, you need as much feedback as possible. And I'm trying to provide. I that need to you. valuable Fe feedback. Not all feedback is equal, and that feedback is trash. If people want to provide me good feedback, and I get a ton of it, I get it on my subreddit, I get it on my I chat, I get it on my emails. I think you I think no, it would be cool if there was a system of voting where your community could like decide whether feedback is valuable. Oh my and God, appealing to lay people... Reddit upvotes. Every community on Reddit knows that that's always been the key to success is just letting the upvoted post rise to the top and the down. Thank you. You know, I've only got the largest community subreddit of I think any streamer or possibly even any YouTuber on all of fucking Reddit. Thank you for the advice on how to run my community. How could I have possibly thought of like, my these advice? ideas? Like, Stephen, from the start of this, my advice is not about how to grow your community and how to make money. I know that you know how to do that. And I know that that's what's going to happen if you keep talking to Fuentes. My advice is about how to stop innocent people from getting killed. Thank you, Mr. Girl, for saving us. I think you, um, I think Stephen has a lot to sleep on. And if he doesn't think about all this stuff, a lot of innocent people are going to die. Yeah, Gideon, why don't you take this threat seriously? I am. I am taking this threat very seriously. I am locked and loaded. And um, all I need is for someone to just uh, let me know where Cozy uh, TV uh, uh, HQ uh, is. And I'm going to stupid. He's stupid. I don't support I, I, I will say this. I, I will say this. I, I do think it's unfortunate because I do think, you know, there were decent arguments on both sides. I do think it's unfortunate that you guys got so caught up on whether the other person was being honest or the other person, you know, was was telling the truth or you reading into intentions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on you hold have on. to get caught up in it. Mr. Girl, I think you'd be far more effective getting your point across if you didn't cut people off every five seconds because it just makes you instantly dislikable. Me personally, I can't stand you. I think you're one of the worst <laughs> content people that you bring on this fucking stream every time two people try to talk. Even if I disagree with the other person, I start to hate you way more because you don't know when to shut the fuck up. No one's ever told you. Sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up. And this is just a piece. You don't even have to care because you just said, I don't care about growing and getting bigger. Well, you know what? I think that's irresponsible on your part because if you actually cared more about growing, you could exert way more influence. But you're so caught up in your stupid ego that you need to cut everybody off and pretend like oh i'm so born out of my fucking virtues that i would not sacrifice them to grow you should grow your brand so you can help and influence more people but you're so busy interrupting people and being dislikable in reasons that aren't productive to the conversation that you neuter your own reach for no reason and so I think Take it's. This? You, I don't, think you don't you have to. You think don't have to. You why you're lecturing me about my rhetoric when you're in not lecturing Stephen about platforming a nazi me and Steven yeah, have spoken like about that. this offline, and I've spoken with you about the. If you've spoken to him about it offline, maybe you should speak about it online instead of okay, online, all right, all making right, a bunch so, of stupid spineless okay, jokes, okay, okay, using the same right, kind of meta right. fucking fake uh, half irony, okay, half joking okay, shit right. that that cool. Stephen has made popular, cool. Cool. and I guess right. made so popular now, with so, you, so, and so, so now he's paved the door that even black creators are going right. to say, "Well, I would rather platform a Nazi than be soy." Cool. All right. It's fucking unbelievable. Hold up. If you would have let me finish you would have actually known that there's a video on Destiny's channel where me and him speak about our thoughts after the pa panel and how I said I would never want to speak to him again because I do think his views are abhorrent and I'm not with it. So we've done it both online and offline. So instead of cutting people off where they're getting to the point that you may have been already getting to, you can learn to listen. You are one of the worst listeners I've ever seen in my life. And why I'm, oh, I'm lecturing you. I'm just a viewer who happened to jump on all of a sudden because I thought this whole discussion was going off the rails for reasons that weren't necessary. I think yes, and so you out. came in and derailed it with a stupid f***ing argument, and now you're lecturing me about rhetoric when you came in and provided cover for a f***ing Nazi and for Steven. 
You're unbelievable, man. You invited yourself into the conversation, and now you're saying, oh, I mean, me and Gideon, who weren't even part of the fucking conversation to begin with, should get just as much talking time as you when the conversation is me confronting Steven. You're all hey. fucking buddies, and you're gonna come in here and defend your buddy. Like, it's unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. You know, we're all soy boys, terrified of being soy, who are here to defend Destiny at every point because we're cool friends and all streamers. Saying are something in a, in a we get funny it. voice we get doesn't it. make we it get not it. true. And just because you said it doesn't make it true either. You, I'm you, not you saying say it does. I'm saying you, what makes you, it you true do. is that it's actually fucking true. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Well, well, how I know. All right. Give me, it. give me, give me perms in your Discord or whatever the fuck you use for your podcast. I'll be sure to jump in and start saying stupid shit to undermine whatever you're saying. And then if you interrupt me, I'll tell you, whoa, whoa, you know why people don't like you, Abba. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, Please. Listen, I get your, I get your feelings hurt. I, I get your feelings. My feelings aren't hurt. I'm just telling you that what you're saying is fucking dumb. That's all. Okay. All right. Yeah, but you won't give them perms. I don't have a Discord, so I mean, you can jump in right, whatever right, he wants. You won't let him give. You won't give him the key to your guys' studio, so whenever you guys are recording, he can just hop in. <laughs> won't, bro, won't. bro. Every time I hear this guy, man, I, I dislike him more and more. And I just wanted to be the kind of person who didn't just say it in the chat, but said it to his face. Because I think you know he gets on these podcasts and he talks over people and he pretty much big bros them with his voice. But the truth is, you're not nearly as insightful as you'd like to think you are, and you are a terrible listener, which makes for a very poor conversation. So I just wanted to be able to join because I know you complained about me being in the chat all the time, and I just wanted to be able to say to you, all right? So now that you know, you can carry on just rattling off and cutting people off and having poor conversations. We'll probably never speak again, so I'm not losing anything. Enjoy. So yeah, when are we pulling up to Cozy? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, okay. I don't know where the Cozy headquarters is. Fucking sneaker. But, Mr. Girl, the point I was trying to get across earlier is I yeah. feel like the energy that you're exerting to Destiny, if anybody should be exerted to, it should be to Sneeko. Because I feel like the dangers that you see in Destiny is so minuscule compared to from your He'd perspective. He'd probably say the same thing to Sneeko, to be fair. Just as That's what I'm saying, but like, I'm saying like, this energy yeah, that he Sneeko's has to work listen. Sneeko's not gonna listen to me. But it's a conversation to be had, so I mean, if you want, I'm I sure. I, 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 uh, sure, if you want me to talk to Sneeko and, and try and be all serious, and Sneeko can make funny faces at me and call me a retard and, and act like I'm an idiot and like he's, like, sure, fine. I'm happy to do that. I'll, I'll I'll get you guys together. Um, what's your what's your Instagram? My Instagram or uh, Twitter? I don't I don't know what you Twitter. Mean. Mr. Girl returns. M R G I R L. Where'd you go? <laughs> uh, I got banned, so I made my second channel, Mr. Girl Returns. And then no, I got no. unbanned, so now I have two channels. Oh, so where, where do you um where, do you stream on Twitch or where are you at? I stream on YouTube. I'm banned from Twitch. My streaming channel is Mr. Girl Returns, and my main channel is Mr. Girl. Okay, how long have you been doing this for? Five years. How old are you? I haven't, I haven't been streaming for five years. I've been making videos for five years. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 37. Oh, wow. So you're way older than me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean... I'm also, I'm also a rapper while we're talking about it. What the <laughs> fuck? You're lying. Yeah, yeah. It's his album's lit, okay? It's some wild shit. That's why you were talking about us black people, because you're one of us. That's right. All right, man. <laughs> I missed the girl, man. More like Mr. Nigga. That's right. I want to change my screen name. <clears throat> I mean, if you don't mind, can we hear he spit a bar? Um. Oh, man, you're putting him on the spot, dude. I mean, there's like 7.4K in here, so like... Uh, that's well, he's got list. songs, okay? He's released on YouTube, okay? You could ask for a Spotify or SoundCloud. Well, he's a rapper. I mean, I can even spit some bars. Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl. I'm trying to think of the right bar. Okay. Okay, hang on. Let me change my, uh, my gain. I'll spit everybody's favorite Oh, bar. wait, hold up. Okay. This wait. nigga Lucky is still on my fucking dick. Oh my I God. remember this name from last time. God damn, Love Heat. Bro, it's a new day, bro. Hop on another dick. Fuck. Okay, everybody's favorite line that I've ever spit. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for miners. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking. Oh, shit. Diamond. Fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs>
Wait, right. let me start over. Gideon, shit, hang on, wait. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Cause my sexual attraction to miners is major. Can't even play hopscotch without popping a rager. Always been a pervert, so I accept the insults. When I was a kid, I fucking molested adults. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Wait, hold up, hold up. Nah, what the? Okay, okay. Mr. Girl. That's my, that's my first live rap performance ever. You're but what, what is what is the name of that song? What is the name of that song? I can fantasize about whatever I want. What what the fuck are you fantasizing about? Whatever he I wants. Told you. Okay, okay. I, I I feel like this is coming back to cuties. So it is. Is this like? Please tell me this is like a joke, right? It's like memeing. Got to listen to this song. God damn. Yeah. There's He's a got a song called "I Kill Pedophiles" too, so it's okay. All right. Oh, that's okay. true. I do. I do have a song. Yeah. So we we fantasize about minors and we also kill pedophiles. So you know, it evens out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, this is my side of the internet, Gideon. I uh, hope you're enjoying I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I, I don't think uh, this is, you know, I, I don't think I want to introduce my uh, audience to this side, but <laughs> I love hopping into it, you know? I mean, I don't think your your community fucks with me that much, but... Not my community you know. fucks you. They're W's they in do? the chat, yeah. With Dion, uh, am I with Dion or Le Dion You're chat? with Dion. And they're using that W and L shit now for all the drama that happens with me. Molina was fighting with people earlier, and they're like, yeah. W Lena or L Lena or whatever people are. Isn't that so much better than fucking um, <laughs> Hog? <laughs> I mean, we didn't do Pog shit, so. Oh, but W man, it's so it's simple. If it's a W, drop a W. If it's an L, drop an L. True. That's why you I, guys like the W. Girl, I'm not that rap, I have to drop an L for that man. Like no offense, but. Not for the rapping though, just for the subject matter, right? Uh, for both. <laughs> wow. Well, let's hear you drop some bars on it. You're going to be critical of somebody else. Now you kind of have to. You're on the spot. In fact, I insist. All right, I got something. Um, I sexually fantasize about my best friend, so I pop the Viagra in his face. <laughs> what? Now he Man. has a raging boner, and he doesn't know why. I flick it all the time like a doorstopper. Bring, bring, ding, ding, dong, dong. I was just off the dome. Dang, you didn't even write that? I didn't okay. write that. Man, I'm glad we could bond over music. True. That's what brings us all together in the end. Hip hop. All right, well, Steven, you got anything else? No, it's not like a, I don't hate you. I'm not mad at you or anything. I don't know if sometimes you think I walk away from these arguments really upset. Um, well, yeah, when I see you, I worry you're going to delete me when you delete those threads. I feel like uh, I feel scared to confront you. Um. Okay. Well, I, I'm not going to delete you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to delete you either, buddy. Thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am mad at you, but I still love you. Okay. I love you too. Be careful, babe. All right. You too. Bye, Bye Julian. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> man. Oh, man. That's... You, uh, <laughs> you came in at a heated, heated moment. I know. I, I honestly wasn't gonna say anything. I didn't even know you knew I was in here. I just joined. I was just because I wanted to like listen, listen, you know, not just watch the stream. Uh huh. Gotcha. That was um. That was uh something. It would have been crazy to get a cameo from Nick. That would have. Why do you wanna do you wanna drag him in here? Because he's uh, he wants to no. chat. <laughs> I do not want to talk to Nick. Okay. I, uh... Abba, stop muting yourself. Unmute yourself. Mr. Girl's gone. You see, isn't it crazy how Abba muted himself when uh, Alpha was in the building? But then once the Alpha leaves, he wants to unmute himself? Is that what's going I mean, it's on? It's crazy, right? I mean, I said my piece. I wasn't going to say no more. I'd have looked like a fool if I was like, that's all I got to say. I'm like, actually, I said my piece. I'm good. I don't uh, want to derail the whole conversation. I'll let you have your moment with rap. Oh, so. shit. Your whole community is saying bring Nick. No. Uh, well, I don't want to force either of you into that conversation if it's our But I think it'd be good content for you, so me and him can head on. We can let you do your thing. Yeah, that's yeah. all I'm here for is the content at the end of the day. Listen, uh, there could be an army of Nazis, but as long as they're, like, tier 4 sub to me, it's all good, all right? You know, I, I, got, I got big companies to work with, so I got, you know... <laughs> I like, like, you got a bright future ahead of you. Don't let me sully your name, okay? 
Yeah, you know, I gotta sell out to the Matrix just a little bit, you know. Yeah, so sure. everybody in the chat, drop W stream right now. W stream, W stream, W stream. You, right. you don't have to. You don't have to worry about Destiny ever uh, biting you in the ass later with like articles, because Destiny's a girl's name and, and girls are never problematic. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, Alba, text me your number. On a. You want my phone number? Yeah. You got WhatsApp? Bro, oh my fucking, god. I'm not foreign. The fuck. Uncultured. All right, we'll get off. Destiny, have fun. Have fun. Bye, Destiny. Bye.